All right, you depart the docks onto the mainland of Alinthi, to the city of New Basky, a place of festivity, drinks, tourism, and a people as jovial as its dragon, of which she proudly displays herself at the crown jewel of the province, the Colosseum. Walking out of the docks, you look out uh, for the elven man uh, named Edmund that uh, Lord Candela mentioned she sent a missive to in order to help oh, you. That's right. But um, you don't really see anyone that fits her description, a literal knight in shining armor, but you don't see anyone by that description at all. Hmm. Um. And worse yet, there's a crowd forming around oh. you as you walk off the docks, as oh, the no. ones who yeah, greeted oh, you no. to the docks start to swarm you. People asking for autographs, people asking what it's like in Satya, asking for you to deliver something or other. Everyone wants a piece of you. <laughs> I'm deliver, definitely you signing say. autographs. <laughs> <laughs> You're signing autographs. I'm turning there into a, a cat people, again. A few people asking, hey, uh, can I get a portrait with you? Uh, a painting uh, over there. It'll be a little bit, but uh, we'll try to speed it up. No. <laughs> Just remember my face. Uh, you disappoint a few of them, but a few other ones are asking because they didn't hear your answer. <laughs> Just side eye them from that point on. And this. I'm a cat again. I'm on. I'm on Poi's I'm uh, shoulder. You, nice. I'm cuddling yes. you. It's okay. It's Incredible. Okay. Thanks. They don't need to know I'm here. <laughs> you are overwhelmed so much that this is going to begin as a skill oh, no, a challenge. Skill challenge. Oh no. <laughs> As uh, so, I'm gonna ask everybody to hold on. Let me put your tokens on the board so that you can select it and roll. Oh yeah, your initiative. My God, there we go. Where am I? Over here. Oh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to draw your way out of this one. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> me, <My> goodness. <laughs> Fine, I'll be on the other dock. Yeah, hey, get on the other dock. That's I'm at a fun whale. What? <laughs> That is a pretty fun way. I realize you love a good whale. <laughs> supposed to be doing something. Did we get in a long rest? I forget. You, you did not yet. I thought we got in a short, mm. a short rest. Yeah, uh, Paul, you can change your initiative to that first eleven, uh, since that's the first. <laughs> oh, one. that. Oh, Lear, that I don't know if you're trying to oh, draw I mean, I'll take on that, your but... token. It looks like your token is <laughs> bleeding. I don't know if anyone else sees that. <laughs> I think that might have been me. Oh, I rolled no, a seventeen, Lear, but you have, like a you, have to, you have to select your token before you roll. Uh, oh, you keep wait, drawing wait, on your token. Drawing. Oh, so you're drawing. <laughs> I'm, oh no! Make it she's stop! She's bleeding. <laughs> made her bleed. Oh, to, I see what so happened. Cool. All right. Yeah. Uh, should I just roll again? Yeah, or, roll again, but well. change it to your first initiative. Roger that. Here we go. And you are going to be 17, so you're going to be there. All right. Yeah. So, the no. crowd oh. is overwhelming you, and although some of you are more attuned to being celebrities than others, this crowd could take a bit of time to weather and you have important business to attend to. Use your skills to get through the crowd, whether it be by granting their wishes or completely pushing them aside. With four successes, you'll have gotten through without using too much of your time, but with three failures, the crowd <gasps> will overwhelm you and you'll lose the day. By the time you finish, Whoa. everything will oh, likely no. be closed besides the inn. Oh, oh gosh. Mm -hmm. I'll go last because word is like soaking this in. For yeah, like all right, you want to delay your turn? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Lara, you're attuned to social situations. You're up first. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. Have I actually turned into a cat or has that been uh That is your like, choice. I, I thought I was holding you. Yeah, I, I mean, I think that's definitely what I would have done. Okay. Um, you would turn into so a that's... cat, but eagle-eyed fans would have noticed this and want to come mm. pet you. Oh no. No, no touching my friend. No. <laughs> Just up in the head feathers like no. <laughs> the crowd does not seem uh, to be respecting your personal bubble. How dare yes. they? I can't cast spells in this form, can I? And not unless <laughs> your specific circle them. says that you can. <laughs> Beans. Uh I don't think it does. I think I just get the the bomb of the summer court thingy. Oh, uh, cool. Um Hmm. Well, navigating a social situation is uh, very difficult, and everything else I can do is a spell. So I think, uh, hmm, 
I actually have a plus two to performance. Uh, can I make it very clear that I don't want to be touched? <laughs> you most certainly can. Either, yeah, performance or intimidation of your choice. Uh, actually, they're about the same. Uh, they're both charisma. All right. No proficiency. Let's so let's just let's just do the performance. Your hairs mm. stand up right. You you hiss at the the people and kind of paw at them to get back, and a few of them kind of lift their hands. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, these people are not the uh, not strangers to being clawed by animals, and mm. so they give you your oh, space. Well done. You've weathered a little bit of the crowd. That's one success. Heck yeah. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Fuck. Um, I have some experience in protection uh, jobs, so I would like to just. All right, everybody, clear out, move out of the way, and I'll <laughs> try to push uh, my way around them. Maybe using athletics. Maybe? You may. That sounds like an athletics to me. Hell yeah, that's the another success. Heck you yeah. push people out of the way, funneling kind of a path for you to ease through. Uh, ironically, making almost like a red carpet for word as he is like shaking hands and like <laughs> signing autographs. Out of the along. way for the boss. <laughs> there it is. Make room, the boss is coming through. Well done. That's two me. that's two successes out Places of four. To be. Fritz. Um Okay. Do I get a disadvantage if I pick Lyra up whilst doing an action? I don't think so. She's small enough. I'm okay. very small. Come here, kitty. Uh I'm gonna notice it's basically a massive crowd and just kind of like hopscotch my way across their heads. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on their heads, you say. You know, okay. I like hop, like boop, 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 boop. Athletics. You know, All right, across. yeah, you can give me that athletics for that. Or, or acrobatics. <laughs> you can fly. Acrobatics. Yeah. Well, yeah, but <laughs> it takes a while to, to like on take them. off, and I don't want people like, you know, it's too obvious. <laughs> Oh, yeah, ah, not enough space right. for your wings. Oh, oh yeah, so very space nice. For me to spread my wings. You get a little <laughs> bit up, and you basically crowd surf kind of above them, <laughs> uh, except with your feet, so it's not nearly as painful for you, but a little bit painful for everybody else as you kind of step on a few heads, and they're kind of like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Just kind of like trying to reach for you, but uh, yeah, you're able to lead the way past the crowd a little bit as well. That is three successes. Word. Yeah. I got you in my hand, Larry. It's okay. We'll get out of here. <laughs> we'll purring a little bit. <laughs> Um, okay, so as we kind of reach the end of the dock, Edward's getting genuinely exhausted. He's just like, all right, you've been a wonderful crowd, but I'm above this. And <laughs> I am going to use stealth. I'm going to essentially kind of try to go to the side of the dock, swing around it, and just, like, climb on the underbelly. Ah, uh, you're trying to sneak away from the crowd. Ah, yep, four Whoa. successes. Whoa. All success in a row. <laughs> wonderful. Yep, you sneak up away from the crowd they you know while they're busy admiring whatever autographs you have given them or handshakes that they're kind of basking in they don't notice you slip away in the kerfuffle and uh yeah you guys are able to weather the crowd either whether it be you know sneaking away from them or making it through them enough that uh you're able to make your way to the rest of the town without much trouble well done not a Yay. single failure yeah <laughs> I'm sorry to people's heads, but there wasn't enough room for me to fly. Yeah, as you guys do kind of like uh, make your way through, a few of the guards are like kind of pushing people, like they're congesting the traffic. So they're like, all right, all right, move on. So yeah, all right. you have access to the rest of Nuba Sky. Wow. Awesome. Oh, that's a sweet mustache. Oh, I should probably put you down. Sorry, Lyra. <laughs> Whoa. All so, good yes. Stuff. Around you by the docks are basically a lot of housing for sailors, barracks for guards, uh, storage houses for merchant supplies, and, and residential housing for the locals for the most part. As uh, most of the city is past the bridge connecting this tiny island uh, and ravine to the mainland. Um, and the person right. who was supposed to meet us, we can't see them? Not that you can tell. If you would like, you can give me a perception. I would certainly not mind. Let me just real quick. I'm going to look around and find one. Mm. Straight bland. Yep. Looking around, yeah. you just like trying up. to find someone who fits the description. There are a few guards, but their armor is not quite shiny, we'll say. Hmm. Buck, you're going to look for the guards. Yeah, I'm just gonna go find wherever word went. Um, yeah, get him with the group. 
I mean, once you guys kind of reach the end of the dock and the crowd's gone, I'll, I'll just pop back in out of a bush or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, so we've got a good, what, five something years? Do we want to <laughs> vacation here a little bit before we get going? <laughs> I'm not wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Um, I feel like we should go over the bridge into the rest of the town, unless there's anything particularly interesting on this side. Yeah, just the docks and uh, look like storage houses or something. Mm, yeah, we probably should run before a crowd forms again. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm. I think I know which one is the sort of the main um, like government building. We could go there and look for our contact. I guess. I mean. That big circle one over there. What was that name? Um, no, that's the um, that's the Colosseum. <laughs> Is that one right. of those places where people like punch each other for no reason? Uh, punch each other, fight each other, all sorts of you know combat going on in the Colosseum. But no, I that's not like the cool. while that that might be the lifeblood of the town, but it's not the where the yeah. government is run. I don't believe. I believe it's this. There's a. Is that the the symbol with the, the little fan on uh, it? That's yep. the government that building? That is a government it's building. A that tree. is the sigil of uh, Elinthi. Elinthi. Huh. Well, it sounds um, like as good a place our, as any to start. That's our group chat logo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're going to head over the bridge then. Yeah. Uh, I believe so. Yes. All right. Heading towards the bridge. Uh, All right, let's... Be less emotional yeah. about this. Oh no, I deleted myself. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Only his eyebrows Goodbye. and the anime oh, blush right. stickers have survived. <laughs> now those because yeah, those weren't mine. Two. Oops. Uh, well, should be. Oh, someone got rid of my mustache. All right. So you head towards the bridge connecting the docks to the rest of the city, and at the foot of it stands a large, very heavily built troll taking coin from passing carts, uh, mounted folk and pedestrians alike, and he looks to you all and tips his hat. Yeah, boy. He stands oh, boy. He stands as like a building of a man, about like 10 feet tall and <laughs> almost as wide as a cart. And he looks down to you and tips his hat. Ten gold toll. Yeah, Fritz, why, why don't you do me a favor and fly me Fly me like right over there. That, <laughs> you want me to fly you? Yeah, that'd be that'd be nice. That, that'd just be swell. Five gold taxi fee. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> On second thought, that water looks very swimmable. <laughs> Is that ten gold each or total? Each. Oh. Uh, I'm a little strapped for cash at the moment. Um, is it possible to take a rain check or? Yeah, it, it can we write like an IOU? He narrows his eyes a little bit. Hmm. Listen, you could be the lord of the life tree itself, letting you through. Don't put food on the table, nor does it maintain the bridge, and the materials I need for this thing ain't cheap. I'm gonna turn back so I can talk. <clears throat> I can offer you twenty total. Hmm. What? That's for all of us. Oh, yes. I'm not good at math. Give me. <laughs> uh, actually, he he shakes his head a little bit. And why should I take twenty when I very rightly should get double? Because we're the. Pilgrims? Did you not notice the? You know what? It's fine. You can <laughs> because give me it's better than nothing. You can give me a persuasion. <laughs> oh God! Oh, <laughs> Critical <no>. failure! <laughs> oh boy! He's fifty gold. He squints his <laughs> eyes, like leans down. He almost has to like squat to meet you eye to eye. I am small. being the champions of Satya. You're lucky. I don't charge you quadruple. I was expecting you would be lined with gold, what with being tasked with this from the lords themselves. <laughs> yeah, Where are we supposed you know, to be paid? The homeland doesn't no. bring in all that much money. Yeah. Uh, I can what give if we you just, like... ration instead. <laughs> <laughs> Saves you the well, time to go to the market and buy it. Yeah, I shot my shot, like, so... Is you know. there like a path we could take that doesn't involve 
taking this bridge? I mean, is there like an alternative uh, route? You're, you're a persistent lot, ain't you? I do have this pillow. Would you like this in trade? Mm. I'll take the pillow and you do a favor for me. Uh, very well. I'm gonna miss that pillow. He <laughs> snags it out of your hand and just kind okay. of puts it like behind his shirt in his back. Uh, there we go. There's a troll on the other side of this bridge. My sister. Her name is... Checking my notes. <laughs> I'm definitely going to take somebody else's pillow. Is this guy's name a pun on right hand? Not that I oh, would right know. Right left, probably. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little hard for me. I, I, don't, I don't know Italian. I got a sister on the other side of this bridge. Name's Tamara. You pay me five gold for each of you, but you give her this note. And he scribbles down uh, some words that uh, on like a piece of a notepad that he pulls out of his vest. It, does anybody know Giant? Uh, no. Nope. All right, well, that is not. illegible to you. He hands it over to whoever will pay, uh, take it. Probably me. me. I love delivering. Yeah, oh, Fritz, just kidding. It, yeah, it, Fritz, it, kidding. <laughs> you take that, you take it to my sister, and you better, because I don't like swindlers. Trust is what keeps things working around here. And like this bridge, if you knock out the foundations of that trust, the whole thing comes crumbling down. Don't me mm. make me come crumbling down on you, you hear? I swear my bird's honor on it. What a profound right. metaphor. Okay, I'll give you, I'll hand over the, I'm really excited to deliver this. I'm going to hand over the five gold and I'm like, I just zip. I'm like, I'm going, I'm going. Uh, right. And I'll give him 15 for the rest of us. So is Fritz going by herself or are you going with her? I, I think we're all going with her. We just yeah, need to pay. I think we're all going. All with right. Her. You can see that he keeps an eye on you as you cross the bridge. This thing is pretty far. It's like a football field. <laughs> And as you head to the other side, you see, just as he described, another troll. <laughs> She's gorgeous. <laughs> and I like zip over. Can I zip over? I'm like here. You I'm zip so over excited. and you can see this other <laughs> troll. She's directing traffic in the other direction. Uh, the sister troll. Um, however, you see that she's in a bit of distress. You can sh see she's frantically counting coin, jotting notes down on a notepad, apologizing, scratching out notes, rewriting them again, and then finally letting huh. one person through the line. Um, and you can see there is a line forming, like, past her. Hey, your brother's a real wad. <laughs> uh, excuse me, you've got mail. Uh, what? What? She turns back to you. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm just doing uh, my. Uh, what? What is it? It's it, from my brother. Yes, and you. Okay. What's Manetto got? Yeah. Uh, she uh, goes to look at the note, and the line in front of her just groans. Oh, come on! <laughs> and she starts. We're making so many friends already. I just tell him to shut. I want to tell him to shut up. I'm like, shut. <laughs> there is nothing more important than mail. Serious <laughs> business. <laughs> She reads it. She briefly reads it. She bares her teeth to the other side of the bridge where her brother is, stomps her foot once, which you can feel the force of it. Mm. Well, I I'm doing my best. So, so easy for him to say, given how he's got so much more practice than I do. She starts angrily scribbling down in giant on her notepad, rips it off and hands it back to you, Fritz. Okay. <laughs> you give to that him? to Manetto and see how he likes it. Fritz, okay, Fritz. Okay, I'm going. Fritz, we have a mission. <laughs> Fritz, 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 Fritz maybe don't, uh, uh, <laughs> We don't owe her anything yet. We've lost them forever. <laughs> <laughs> Fritz is just gone. <laughs> Fritz, are you just going anyway? I'm Fritz, zipping. Fritz, charge him for the reply. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna. Yeah, I was gonna. I am that airborne anyway. and I am flying. The okay. goggles are on. You head back How to long Manetto. Is this bridge? <laughs> and hand him the note. And he reads it over, and he just kind of grumbles. Mm. <laughs> mm. He grumbles, and he stomps on his side of the bridge, which shakes a little bit. <laughs> However, you see cracks underneath his foot. Oh. oh. He scribbles down yet another note for you to take, Fritz, and hands it to you. <laughs> delivery fee! Delivery fee! Delivery fee! 
I'm kind of invested in this family drama. <laughs> I'm going back. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> you're, you're Two will carry making, your feet. You're, you're making we, proverbial you're, rounds around Jericho. It's going to make it worth your while. <laughs> so you bring the note back to tomorrow then? Yeah. <laughs> All right. You bring the and note I'm to like, tomorrow. I, I land and I'm like out of breath like. <laughs> <laughs> How long is this bridge? <laughs> I'm going <gonna, laughs> to gonna step off the bridge i'm gonna also step off the bridge <laughs> i'll step off the bridge yep so you guys I'll are on the other side of the bridge by all rights which tamara let you Whoops. through um however there are yeah, still people me. like waiting while she's still trying to count coin and you can see she's you can hear she's muttering to herself oh no 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 yep yep i uh, i got you one sec friend uh, rotten roots and she is a struggling and as Fritz, you bring the note back to her, like, she you mail, you mail. <laughs> she reads like it dying. over, and she just that son of a, mm, and she stomps, 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 and then writes another note, hands it to you. <laughs> I, Buck, I just realized if, if we I'm offered to like, like, I'm like sitting on the floor, like uh uh, nah nah. <laughs> her courier fee is five gold. <laughs> she just like looks to the the traffic, looks back towards her brother, looks to the traffic again, and just, ah, she rips off a piece of stone from the uh, from the road, lifts it up, and boom, jams it in the middle of the road and starts stomping towards her brother. <gasps> oh, traffic right has been mind. stopped, and everyone just starts groaning. Oh, now look what you did. Hey, we didn't do any of this. We can take you gold. <laughs> yeah, we should manage it. I would not That's advise this course of action. Uh, I'll spend all day here. You guys go have fun. <laughs> back to the mountain. And so you've made oh it to the other God. side of the bridge, but whatever happens between these two, I guess who's to say? Uh, I would love to I mean, eavesdrop on the beginning the of their argument. The drama. Have... <laughs> I'm not going to cross back over that bridge right now. I'm going to keep going. If you guys want to catch up later, we can do that or... Uh, no, no, we should we should go. <laughs> yeah. I like keep glancing back, just like rubbernecking the whole time. <laughs> and as you do Lara, I imagine out, you're having to pull me away from this. You're like, no more, no more, no more. No. <laughs> as you do go, kind of along Don't the long line of people, you finally do see someone that fits the description Lord Candle I was giving you. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, just stuck in line. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, a knight in, as she says, Shining armor, and he uh, calls out to you. Oh, thank goodness! Ah, oh, I take it you're the pilgrims sent from Satya. Oh, aye, aye. and uh, he just gives you oh. a little salute. What's up? I have a little question. My my good friend that I made last session, uh, Paula the Rattler. Mm -hmm. Did she stay on the ship, or did she come with us? Or because uh, her whole crew died. Like right. Everybody. No, there was what? like one other guy left. Yeah, uh, yeah like one other guy. Dude. You said that they are part of your crew, but what does that mean exactly? <laughs> I I essentially told her that she works for me, but she's allowed to conduct business like as usual. If I like when I come back here, when I'm done, if I need or have a request or something, she basically has to fulfill right. it. In that case- It's kind of the implication. In that case, her. she and the other guy, considering they don't have a sailing crew anymore, would have gotten off the docks with you and parted ways. Okay, cool. No, my friend who I don't remember the name of, no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we'll see him again. Yeah, I didn't write down his name either. <laughs> it's okay, I didn't either, and I'm the DM. Anyway. So we can just call Jacob. him whatever, and there's a good I chance that we're correct. Jacob, <laughs> the name is Jacob. Franklin. All right. Franklin. So Jacob Franklin Jinkleheimer Smith. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you uh, you see the tall elven man with a kind of dark curly hair, and he gives you a little salute. Good afternoon, hey. uh, Edmund Goldbach. Uh, I, I'm so sorry for all the inconvenience just now. Those trolls truly gave me quite a lot of trouble and were not letting up. Uh, I was sent a missive from Lord Candler to assist you in getting the lay of the land here. Pleasure to meet you. Joe, I raise you the it's... image you used for the announcement again. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> no. Those Look, soulful we... eyes. <laughs> um, that Viggo kinda... Mortensen is Aragorn energy. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have to, I, I think at some point, have counsel with the dragon of this place, but we're a little banged <laughs> up from a very eventful sea voyage, and I'm wondering if there's a place that we could 
spend the night? No, uh, of course, my lord. Relax. I've uh, I've been told to keep oh, an eye on you, and uh, my lord. Well, yes, of course. You, you, you are the pilgrims of Elinthi, are you not? Yes. Yeah, but you I'm don't not have entirely sure what respect that affords us. Right. The troll didn't seem to think it afforded us any. I technically own a plot of land, so I am a lord. Yeah. Oh, how interesting. Well, of course it would be disrespectful to not have me refer to you without such title. Of course, I'm simply a knight uh, sent to keep an eye on you and protect you. I feel like it would be disrespectful to not provide you with some sort of title. What are your credentials, my friend? Well, I am a, a knight. Of course, I am foreign, of course. I am not local to Alinthi, but this I am tasked with my own pilgrimage of sorts. Um, I come yeah, here to prove really? my worth and on a mission. Not from Alinthi at all? I'm not. Uh, so I apologize if my lack of uh, familiarity with the land may provide a few information, but I do have lived here for a little bit, so I can provide some information where I can. Where exactly are you from? Uh, a southern kingdom, uh, south and uh, west of here. Uh, it's not important, really. <laughs> it's quite fair, all right. Fair, yeah, fair yeah. enough. Um, it's accent. not on my map, so. <laughs> Is there anyone we should talk to now that we're in this fine city? Anyone we need to declare our presence to? Uh, other than the dragon, probably not. The Lord uh, of Nubuskai is currently out at the moment. I tried to get in touch with him, but, uh, you know. Pencil pushing is not exactly is, my best interest. And what is his name? Uh, his name is Antoine. Antoine. What? Mm -hmm. Sorry, <laughs> I couldn't resist. Whoa, we are already <laughs> judging this man. <laughs> I couldn't Wait, resist. Is, Sorry. is Antoine the dragon or the lord? The lord. It's the lord. the lord. The dragon is that minotaur lady, right? Yes. The gladiatrix? Yeah. And yeah, what's um, his name one more time? I'm sorry. Of course, you are Hold looking on. for somewhere to stay. Um, lord Candela has gone out of her way to provide free lodging as best she can at an inn, a place called the Soft Shores, run by a copper dragonborn oh. by the name of Rama. He should take you in quite well. He's a very friendly oh. fella. And is oh, there like a, um, the, I believe Lord Candela mentioned like a per diem or some sort of money that we might be able to get? Or is there a way that we can like get some money? Because that was a problem a little bit ago with the uh, I don't have any money. <laughs> I, I understand your uh, concern, my lord, but I, I apologize. My political pull is somewhat limited in Nuba Sky. Often, uh, it, it's a bit stingy when it comes to other provinces, uh, not least of which in Satya. Uh, lord Candela has done the best that she can, but I guess they see more profit in this than benefiting the world at large. What's the lord, lord guy's name again? Antoine. 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 Buck, correct me if I'm wrong, but one of your skill sets is turning small amounts of money into large amounts of money, correct? Yeah, it's... Uh, I you. mean, I'm pretty good. Well, I can uh, yeah. well there is the I gaming corner over on the other side of mind. town, <laughs> and you can see um, he points in this direction. If you are the more gambling type, though I wouldn't recommend it, but that is an option. <laughs> He's yeah, literally I'm sure carrying two giant roulette wheels. <laughs> I'm sure we yeah. will probably not probably avoid that. Uh, being highborn lords and ladies, uh, Lyra, my, my, what I was saying is my issue is um, I can turn a small amount into a large amount on a good day, but I don't even have a small amount of money right now. <laughs> um, I need a amount of money to. You need to borrow to from use. me again, Buck. And that's what I see. That's the issue is I yeah. already borrowed from you once, and I feel like I haven't returned that investment. I don't I even remember how much you owe me. Okay. I'm it's going to uh, pour out the 10 gold I have remaining and partition out five of them and give them to Buck. <clears throat> well, we can go by the gambling corner later, I'm sure. I mean, we don't have to do it right Buck. now. But <laughs> well, Being the uh, okay. champions of Satya, I do <laughs> assume that you all have some sort of combat prowess as well. And uh, this town does love its Colosseum. If you are willing to forego a bit of a beating, you could earn some extra cash at the Colosseum. Just kind of going to look at Buck. Uh, I can, I, I'll be right. I can catch up with you guys later, or I can go do this now. Um, I would like to go to the gambling court. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I've enabled him. <laughs> All right, my friends, while well, Buck attempts to turn your money into moors, I will show you how I turn other people's money into mine. <laughs> Oh, okay. And I start heading toward the gambling corner. Uh, uh, before you go, um, 
<clears throat> Far be it from me to treat you grown adults as children on a leash. <laughs> so, my lords, if you would said the this. DM to the players, <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> he holds out a very small polished, almost perfectly spherical orb of stone, about the size of a small <gasps> pill bottle, and holds orb. it out Ooh. to anyone who will take it. I'll take it. Uh, this I is, would love an orb. It's a sending stone. It's got a limited range, won't work outside of Nuba Sky, but for however long it takes you to finish your task here, if you need my assistance, do not hesitate to call. Otherwise, I will be at the City Hall, the official building that you uh, assumed to the north there, uh, waiting for the Lord as I have business with him. Otherwise, do not hesitate to call on me if you need me. Certainly, Sir Goldbach. Why were you Could you provide us directions to the inn? I believe it would be wise for Fritz and I to go there and be as far away from possible as whatever Buck and Word are about to get into. <laughs> of course. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh, Lyra, I mean, I, I understand that this might all be new to you, but you and Fritz uh, are, have never been to this town before, right? Correct. I would think that you, I mean, part of this journey we're gonna have to experience new things I, I would love to show you around the gambling corner if we're if I'm spending your money anyway interesting Fritz maybe you should go to the inn just so we ensure that we have our lodging and one of us is not about to get arrested for whatever word does sure <laughs> I can always come I'll grab uh, go you to a the drink. inn Thank secure us a space and then come over to you guys very well you. <laughs> that works for me. Very well. Uh, do enjoy your time in du Nuba Sky. Yes, and good luck with your business. Of I course. I want to. I want to nudge Lyra. And I'm like, Lyra, you gotta. You did it. You talked to a person. You gotta do its number. I did. <laughs> I did. Is that what that was? I it think. Was so I easy. don't know. I never talked that way to someone. But I think he so. You were so polite. Is that normal? <laughs> I think. Fuck, that guy was super weird, right? <laughs> I mean, I, I think he seemed like a nice enough fellow. I mean, he left us alone, which was good enough. Um, I mean, he comes from a place that doesn't exist. There's not a single, like, chip on his armor. There's not I even dirt on it. Does he, like, clean it regularly and not fight people? I thought it was strange how he didn't give the name of the place that he was from and sort of just referred yeah. to it geographically. Uh, people do people do that sometimes when they're from really far away places that people don't talk about. Hmm. I, correct. Well, um, I'm, you can see my, I'm like, I'm like running the five gold, like in my hand, uh, just back and forth. And I, cause I've been, I'm from this town. I know where the ga gambling is. <laughs> you do know is. where it is. <laughs> and I'm like, I oh, haven't been here in a really long time. Would really like to. Go. So you said you were going to do, uh, uh, lizard things or whatever. I, I have to, <laughs> yeah, were, uh, um, and I show me the way. All right, let's, Lyra, word, come with me. Let me show you where we're going. Well, Lyra's going to the inn with Fritz. Uh, oh, I thought Lyra... Because uh, Buck convinced. invited me to the gambling hall. Oh, I'm going to okay. go so with him. Go to the yeah. uh, I didn't, so the I, idea, I think the current plan is that Fritz goes to the inn just to, like, secure our rooms, make sure we're established, and then I guess rejoins us? Um, yeah. I don't know, things I mean, feel a little bit low I went out the hall. <laughs> ah, there we go. go. <laughs> with, I mean, I think we have enough time if we all want to... I think our rooms have already been... I don't know which voice I'm doing. <laughs> I think our rooms have already been secured by the other fellow, and you mean we could call him. You could call him, Lara, if you wanted to, since you have his number, and we can. Uh, you can tell him to set it up, and we can all go there after we're done. He only just left. Would that be weird? Um. Yes. No. It, good to know. I don't think it would. I don't think it. You know what? I'm gonna go against work. I don't think it would. <laughs> it goes in the backpack. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call him if we need him. I'm sure he's a very busy man. All right. <laughs> to the gambling hall, I guess. <laughs> Today right. is full of good decisions for all of us. Buck is the yes. definition of, I'm not an addict, I can stop whenever I want. <laughs> yes. I said whenever I want. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to yeah. learn a valuable lesson about giving Buck money today. Whatever happens. Uh, come on, I've made a gambling character. We're here at the gambling table. Okay. No, no, you're correct. I've been, so gambling every day for, I've been gambling every day for 20 years. It's all I think about and I still haven't gotten addicted, so I doubt it's happening. <laughs> 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 and you're not like in the red. You just don't have any money, which is fine. Yeah, that's right. Oh yes, you're as not. long as you don't have <laughs> negative money, you're still yeah. okay. Lyra, <laughs> until you get up from the table, you don't lose any money. So that's that's the first thing to keep in mind. That doesn't sound right, but I don't know enough about money to dispute it. <laughs> <laughs> about money in, in general? It very yeah, rarely no, comes honestly. up with Shamaya. <laughs> 
Fair enough. Well, let's just go see what we got. And uh, DM, if I may, uh, I, because I picked the gambler background, uh, I have a feature called Never Tell Me the Odds. I don't know if I can oh share this. Oh, my God. Share it. Uh, I, don't know if this is gonna, I don't know if this is going to share the whole background or just the I'm part that looking, I'm referring I'm to. Don't worry. Except for those times uh, when you have no gold at all. Yeah, it's not showing your backstory. Don't worry. Uh, I can. No, no, no. I think. I think there's a feature that I will want to share here. I'll just. Uh, yeah. oh, You've okay. shown the trait, which just that's seems the, to be about how gambling works. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. There we go. Uh, there's the feature. Uh, odds and probability are your bread and butter during downtime activities that involve games of chance or figuring odds on uh, or the best Oh, plan. that's so cool. You can get a solid sense of which choice is likely the best one and which opportunities seem too good to be true at the DM's determination. Mm. Wow. That is so exploitable. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> that's why the cool. DM's determination is yeah, so, so wrong. Yeah. All right. That will come into play. Uh, yeah. All right. Heck yeah. So... Yeah, you go Good to the gambling corner decisions. and you can see that there's quite a few people like uh, playing various different games of chance and stuff. And you can notice that there is one that you partly recognize, Buck, a person that you partly recognize, but are not like on terms with. It's not like you're not even really acquainted, but you've seen hmm. them around. And Alan, by the name of Aurelia, is currently kind of the game master and presenting a lot of things, overlooking a lot of things. And she sees you all and... She opens her arms graciously and goes to greet you. Hello, pilgrims of Sasha. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> How great of you to I think I saw this woman in an Sasha. Avril Lavigne music video in 2012. <laughs> <laughs> How gracious of you to bless my establishment. Have you come to make your fortune? Yes. Y uh, yes, Lady Aurelia. Thank you for, for having us. Um, if you wouldn't mind, just... I don't see... Is there any open tables? Any open gimmicks? Or, yes, so there I'm is an open table like that you. I can provide for you. But you, I think I know you. Aren't you the one that lost a massive bet here last time you were here? What was it again? Um, I don't think that that was... That might have been a different... It was a massive... Wait, no, I remember. You have that little <laughs> no, clover in I your hat. I don't think... Well, Thank this you. is a new clover. It would have been a new. I would have picked another one before then. But it wasn't. Probably wasn't me because I have. Um, if he's good at losing money, you want to flatter him, not insult him. <laughs> oh no! Is that how this works? She just kind of like waves her hand a little bit. <laughs> I see you've got new friends. Who are these? Uh, this. Uh, uh, we, we're. I'm a pilgrim now. So uh, this is my my. Other pilgrims, Word and Lyra. Mm. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, I am the God King Word. Oh, the God King? Then you must have deep pockets. <laughs> and even deeper. They luck, get deeper I'm sure. every day. Look, we're not we're not as easy marks as you would think. I mean, I've, I've I've done this thing before, and I understand that I've lost some money in the past. But I'm we're just here for a very small, you know, just just to get our feet wet, as it were, in the world of Nuba Sky, just to introduce these uh, outsiders to this town. Oh, of course. I'll be sure to go easy on you. Here, follow me to this table. And she brings you along to a table where uh, you may pick a game of your choice between uh, Hand of Fate, which is a game of pure chance, uh, Timora's Spinner, which is just basically roulette, hmm. <clears throat> and what is this one? Hold on, I'm looking through <laughs> my notes. Oh boy, <laughs> mini game! <laughs> come on, come on! Step right up, try your luck. <laughs> uh, Win a fantastic yeah, big crime. Coney Island vibes here. Uh, and Gambit, which is basically like poker, where you like uh, try to get high points and try to like bluff, fold, all that stuff. What was the middle game again? Uh, Gamba. Just roulette, roulette, basically. So you've got okay, awesome. you've got tw uh, wizard roulette. You've got hand of fate, which is like a game of pure chance. You roulette, which is kind of like either pure chance or you know fifty fifty, uh, mm -hmm. or gambit, which is poker. I would All like right, to play hand of. Fate. And fate. fate. <laughs> it is a game of pure chance where you roll dice 
essentially, <gasps> um, where, uh, similar to 21, you're going to roll a d12. Uh, Aurelia is going to roll her own d12, but the first score is going to be hidden. She's going to roll the second uh, d12, and you're going to see the second one, and hmm. uh, you are going to roll your second one, and you're going to call low or high on hers, like whether your roll is higher than hers or lower. Hmm. hmm. Got it. All it's right. like a Monty Hall thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna... So Can I roll my d12? Sh yeah, you may roll your d12, and she will roll as well. Come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing, though. That's, That's a safe a bet thing. for Lowe's. Mm -hmm. So her first like roll is going to be hidden, and you may roll your okay. second. Actually, roll what are you anteing up? Now, so. Uh, oh yeah. Two gold. Wait, do I have to? I, I've I would have anteed up just one. Just uh, one I'll gold. Anteed up before before I before I would have rolled. I would have only anteed up one. One. Uh, mm. Mm -hmm. And she's going to mm -hmm. call that one. Okay. And then she's rolled. And, and you can see you when meter? that you ante up one, she just like uh, s smacks her beak, not lips. She doesn't have lips. Just like, oh, how disappointing. <laughs> Can I oh, ante up? I know what this could actually be. I don't know if it's too late Bird to will grind more, their but... beak sometimes, so they can. Really? It makes like a kind of like sound. <laughs> huh. So do I call lower high and then roll? No, you roll again. You will see her okay. second roll, and then you call roll the lower high. So your yeah. total. So wait, which one is? Oh, it's the total of the two. Yes, it's the total yeah. of the two. You don't see her first roll, but her second roll is a one. And because of your oh. gambler, because of your gambler feet. <laughs> you can see that she's trying to hold a poker face, but she seems to be have an air of confidence to her. Hmm. Uh. So the air of confidence would make me think that she's probably confident that I would say low <laughs> because I have a low number. I would be I'm also honestly astounded that she rolled lower than me if that's the case. Um, but. I think if I'm picking up what the DM's putting down, if she's, it's a you said she's trying to, you? she's trying to put on an air of confidence, or yes, she actually she has, she she has one. Sorry, but yeah, she has an air of confidence also, about her, but you can't tell. So you see, and I, she owns a casino. You can't tell if that's just her <laughs> natural, you know, state of being. Mm. Um, so I cannot oh possibly choose the glass. Sorry, in front it of says you. you get a solid <laughs> yeah. sense of which choice is likely the best one. Um, yeah. You can probably guess that going low is the better choice, as when you noticed whenever her first roll, she had a kind of very interested look in the fact that you rolled a one. Okay, I will I will go low because I feel like that's what we're if that's what I get. So your total that that's your total was a four. Her total mm -hmm. was a thirteen. Her first roll was a twelve. Whew. Yikes! Oh you have doubled okay, your gold cool. amount to two. I almost talked myself out of it. <laughs> um, I interpreted it that way too. If it, it sounded like she was confident when the easy yeah. cho uh, choice for you would be low, but if you saw that she rolled a one, you had a four. It was a one in four chance that she'd managed mm -hmm. to go lower than you. I'll put three gold pieces down and then I'll I'll, I'll uh, take Lara and I'll push her forward. <laughs> Excuse me. Come on, it's fun. We just won. We're on a hot streak. I see. You put down three, and Aurelia puts down a three as well to call. Okay, so I guess I'm rolling now. You may, if you wish. And sure, she, why not? She she Come looks on. at you I'll, and her eyes widen a bit. I'll, ah, a greenie. I'll quickly put down two on top of that. Oh, is she referring to the missile tool? To five. Oh, side. She'll call that two. There's ten gold on the in the pool. In the pot. So you may roll a twelve. On. All right, I think I no. did the command right. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Five. <laughs> Could be worse. Oh, boy. All right. All right. She's going to roll her first roll. Okay. Which I don't see. You don't see. She has a cup over it. And uh, huh. Buck, Clever. you looking over her, she looks, uh, she cocks one eyebrow. Whatever it is, it was very inquisitive. Hmm. So I roll my second one now? Roll your second one. And she will roll her second one. Hmm. hmm. All right. So my total I think is. You should go high. I also think I should go high. My total is sixteen. Hers is six. The odds are precipitously low that she has a higher number than mine. And Buck, from your gambling uh, sense, looking at her trying to keep her poker face, 
you can see that uh, she looks a little bit concerned as well. You can tell that she is reading Lyra's poker face, and she, in turn, being able to read Lyra, is concerned. I'm going to let Lyra make whatever choice she wants to make. I'm we're not going to interfere in a game of luck, given my, who I <laughs> oh, am. Oh, excuse me? Well, we're going to go high regardless. Yep, you're going to go high. Her first roll yep. was a five. It was an 11. You did a roll higher. Congrats. Yeah. yeah. You have Woo! me gone up money. five gold. <laughs> Hell yeah. I go yeah. up two gold. Yeah. Deceptively simple. And she takes off her gloves to reveal her kind of more bird folk-like talon hands. And she shakes them off a, bit, a little bit. Hmm. How about we turn this a little bit larger? Hmm. And what she drops a mind? sack onto the table. You recognize it. It's a bag of holding. Oh. Oh, interesting. And hmm. uh, what is exactly that you expect us to offer up against that? Hmm. She looks around, looks at word. That's a fine jacket you have there. <gasps> it is indeed. I would Thank like something noticing. to spruce up my outfit. Spruce uh, I could I could uh, give you the name of my tailor, but she doesn't live near here. Oh, but you're right here right now. And of course, I do like a tight fit. <laughs> I don't want your stupid bag. This is my jacket. You're not touching it. <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> uh, Look, let's well, play a different she, game. She puts one, fing one finger to her cheek. Oh, well. And she goes to reach at the bag of holding and puts it away. Hmm. Oh, what do I have in my inventory? <laughs> I I gotta go use the restroom. And word runs off. And I am going to have him cast Unseen Servant in the bathroom. <gasps> oh. <laughs> what is he doing? Uh, we're gonna play roulette for that bag. Oh, no. Oh. And then <laughs> my little guy is gonna grab the vault. Oh, no. <laughs> play roulette uh, for the bag. So what yeah. is the, the Unseen Servant like doing specifically? He's gonna try and steal uh, well, it. With, ru uh, with roulette, the ball like kind of stays in one place and then slowly g glides like across um, like the space, and then it falls in the pocket. So I'll essentially have the unseen servant's hands on the ball the whole time to make it look realistic. Mm, okay. So you're gonna cast unseen servant then. Yeah. You cast unseen servant in the bathroom, and immediately mm -hmm. your hands start to glow bright like it was just hit by a fairy fire. You know, I thought that okay. might happen. <laughs> In a world where magic users are like more than half the population, I assume a casino has things about this. <laughs> I uh, climb out the window. <laughs> <laughs> you climb out the window and escape, not, never to be seen by anyone. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm, 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 still, I'm, still running, I'm still running this gambit. Yeah? Uh, I, circle, I circle around the outside, like in the front, and I'm going to cast a message to Buck. Be like, come out to the front. <laughs> Does that do, can you, can everyone hear the like? It's just me who hears the message. Uh, yes. Message is whispered yeah. Uh, yeah. and line of oh, sight, yeah, yeah. but only you can hear it. Okay, um, so I want to give all the money back to Lara that she gave me, which I think we now have. Uh, I think we made a profit of four gold, so you should have. Uh, not. Well, you gave me five. I gave you five. You can just give me back the original five if you want. Oh, um, here's the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, so I'll have four. Nice. Yes. <laughs> four <laughs> nice. <gold. laughs> no, no, no. You, I, I'll keep one. You, this is your. You won this. These three. I did. Oh. Right. Interesting. You guess the you you were. This is your gold to win. I mean, I'll I'll hold on to the one that I won, but I'm not gonna take your winnings. That wouldn't be right. Oh well, thank you very much. Didn't it feel good to uh, to win? It was math. It felt like doing uh, was, math. <laughs> there's a little bit of luck involved, though, right? Like rolling that 11? Psst. <laughs> I think you're being hailed. <laughs> oh, hey, fuck. Uh, you see just like the eyeball of a kobold outside the front door. Boink. Just, I, I, I tell you what, if you play like another game or something, just look around, find something you like. I, I promise it'll catch on a little bit. I have to go deal with the lizard, and then I'll go. Yep, uh, you go to word. deal with uh, Word, and you can see, even though he's outside of the gambling corner, you can see the fairy fire on his hands are still bright and prominent, much as he, as much as he tries to hide it as best he can. It's still like visible, like through clothing and stuff. 
hands in the pockets. Or did you try to cheat? What, what's going uh, on? I haven't cheated yet. I'm about to. Uh, there was something in the water. I, I was washing my hands. They have like tinkle fire or something. I don't know if my pee's magic. But, uh, I don't I, look, believe that. I, okay. I, I take off my jacket and I hand it to you. Look, I need you to play roulette and I need you to bet on black 15. Um, if this is going to involve me um, cheating in a game of skill or a game no, of I, luck, I just I, really I, I, I talked to Lady Luck in the bathroom. Um, <laughs> she said, we, we got this. I'm so excited for you guys to get arrested <laughs> within an hour of arriving in this city. <laughs> they won't know if I'm outside. We've been oh, through yeah. some stuff together. I'm going to be uh -huh. very clear about this. I'm not going to cheat in a game of skill. Or sorry, in a game okay. of luck. It's, I'm not you will going not to be, be cheating. You will just, you will be betting with my jacket. I will not facilitate you cheating. Layra, Layra, get out here. Am I also being messaged? Yes. I'm, I'm hearing word. Yes. I'm yeah. ignoring you. God damn it. I'm having no part in whatever's happening out there. Why don't you come in with your fancy red hands and just bet the jacket in the first place? Uh, that would be un unsportsmanlike for some reason. I like your word. Um, I'm not going to be involved in part of this uh, endeavor. So I'll give him your jacket back. And uh, next time, wash your hands more when you're peeing. Or I guess less. If I, well, I don't really understand the lie that you told me. Uh, but I'm going to go back in uh, to see what Lara's doing. All right. And uh, as he goes back in, I just turn to my unseen servant. Go get some gold for me. Oh, the fake out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the unseen servant. Uh, any specific directions of how you want him to go get gold? Uh, I, I've seen, like, where the gold trade-offs are happening at the different tables. Yes. Uh, can I make, like, a retroactive perception check? Or I'll just, like, stare through the door yes. and see, like, you who's may. the least observant uh, person, deal like, dealer? You may give me a perception check. Did that go through? Okay. Uh, how, do, how do I? You just click it, and it shows up on roll 20. Oh, normal roll or, Okay. Okay, looking around, you do see a prime target, someone who seems to be like a newer employee who's not really attuned to the whims of and, and nuances of working in a gambling place. Prime target, found. All right, yeah. I, d I want it to kind of go behind the table and just grab, like, probably not a noticeable amount of gold, like maybe five pieces or if they have any platinum or something, and just, mm. like, slowly drag it low, like, across the floor like a rat or something. <laughs> I. Oh my god. I'm gonna need a sleight of hand for you because you are mimic okay. uh, assuming mimicking the movements <clears throat> for your unseen servant to follow. Ooh, it. that's yep. pretty good. Yeah, you sneak, you pull out the coins that just kind of slide across this guy's like uh, pant leg and just rolling <laughs> across the floor, just being carried by your unseen servant. And you can see Aurelia is walking around as she is surveying the different tables while Lyra, you, you know, you and Buck are just together making small talk. And- Oh, is Buck back? <laughs> yeah, this is yeah, happening while back. Buck is going <laughs> back. And oh, she goody. notices Buck coming back. She's walking around and she stops right in front of the unseen servant. She looks around <laughs> okay. and is checking. She looks at the, the newbie, the, the green employee who's a human. She goes to mm. say a few words to him and he just kind of seems a little bit sheepish. And she's continued. She doesn't seem the unseen servant. Congratulations, word. You gained 10 gold. Woohoo! Oh goodness. <laughs> We've almost taxes. broke even on the bridge toll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Buck, you I make it. I am the best game. You make it back to Layra. And I walk. <laughs> and you can see Aurelia is uh, kind of like looking at other tables, but noting that you have come back. She wants to know if, you know, you need her again. <laughs> Um, I don't. I don't want to take up the whole session. Like, no, um, just if you had anything gambling. else, I was actually about to see if like that was all. Um, because we can just say that yeah. you gamble there for a little bit and then go to Fritz. Yeah, I, I would. I would maybe. I have one gold right now. Maybe if I could get that up a little bit, that's what I would probably try and do. Um, <laughs> Tell you what, give me one d twenty roll, and okay. we will see what happens. 13. Thirteen. You the luckiest number you can roll on a D twenty. Yep. 
And we'll say, <laughs> spending time gambling there, and because of your gambling feature, we'll say you gain 13 gold while gambling there. Nice! Woohoo! All right. Buck, buck, and meanwhile, buck. while this is going on, Fritz, you fly on over to the inn, the soft shores. And heading inside, you can see that it's a, it's a pretty humble place. Um, a little bit dirty, a little bit dingy, but you know, you can tell that it's a mom and pop shop that uh, definitely serves good food. And inside, true, as Edmund said, there's a copper dragonborn, Rama, who waves you in. Uh, nice, Hello. nice to see you. Welcome to the Soft Shores. Hi. Uh, can I reserve a space for? Wait, how many were there? One, two, three, four. Four people, <laughs> please. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, four, of course. Yes, uh, that would be four gold pieces. Thank you. Each? Uh, Prince. no, just for the Prince. whole thing. We already have reservations. <laughs> we already have reservations. They, they, they like, they like uh, arranged. If you tell them we're the pilgrims, it'll probably work. <laughs> uh... I'm not there. Why am I saying this? No, it's okay. No, it's it's information <laughs> I would have known. Please let me know. I am. I have. Oh, yeah, a yeah, wonderful case of cannot right, remember. Yeah. Edmund did right, uh, uh, mention that he, you know, Candela like, made reservations for you. Yeah. No, but like, mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Um, sorry. Bird brain. Uh, <laughs> I should have reservations, actually, for pilgrims? Oh, uh, you're with the pilgrims from Satya. Oh, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have charged you. Yeah. Yes, of course, your rooms are ready. Um, each I don't look much like a hero, do I? <laughs> no, you, you're fine. Yes, uh, Lord Candela has reserved uh, about uh, a week's worth in case you need that much. But, um, I, of course, if you need longer, I can house you for longer if you like. Oh, you're so sweet. Can I also <laughs> get a glass of whiskey? Uh, yes, yes, you can. May, uh, here, let me go pour you some. And uh, he goes behind the counter and he just uh, pulls out some, some whiskey, as you say, pours it into a, uh, a mug and hands it to you. Ah, it is uh, so nice for uh, someone of note to come to my establishment. It's not often I get uh, a lot of business here, of course, but uh, Lord Candela was so uh, kind enough. But uh, may I make a, re a request of you and, and the other pilgrims when they get here, of course? One moment. Uh, it's just a, a small one. Uh, if, if you I could. I like sip it, and then I'm like, okay, now I can listen. <laughs> <laughs> ah, uh, business for my, uh, my inn has been slow, so... Uh, but you are pilgrims. You are very notable people, and uh, a lot of people seem to look up to you. Could I uh, please get a, a small portrait of, of you all together with, with me, perhaps? Uh, I can hang it outside and perhaps use it as a bit of advertising. I I'll, I'll even pay you for your time as well. <gasps> well, I can't agree for everyone because they're not here, but I certainly will with you. <laughs> Oh, even if it's just one, that is that is wonderful news. Thank well, you. Well, we'll be back here soon, so oh, you good, can ask. Good. Why um, are you not with the other pilgrims, by the way? I really wanted whiskey. Oh. <laughs> I'm not that an is... alcoholic, I swear. <laughs> oh. Just always tells a little good whiskey clears any grogginess from a good old ship. Yes, that is true. How much and for the whiskey, by the way? Oh, no, no, no. On the house, of course. You you are a pilgrims. You come to my establishment. It will definitely bring in more uh -uh. business. No, no. I could not I ask you. I am sliding two gold. I am making this man. I am paying. Whiskey is not a cheap thing. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sliding two gold. He uh. hesitantly takes it and puts it into his apron. But thank you <laughs> so, so much. You are too kind. Um, You will be talking with uh, our dragon, yes? Cecilia the Great. Yes. Ah, yes. Um, Should be fun. I have Never... uh, spoken with her before. Um, she is a bit much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's not too much for me. Well, perhaps not, but I thought the same. Uh, but I, I just want to warn you that uh, she may be a bit much, but she is kind of hot. I, I know this for true. You really care so, about her. I do, I do. She comes in here every so often, and uh, a lot of the time she doesn't really show her boisterous nature as she often does outside. She just listens, and I like talking to her, but uh, 
whenever she's not in here, she is, like I say, much. Oh, hmm. does she come here a lot? Uh, when she has the time, she is so busy. Oftentimes, always even sleeping at the Colosseum. Wow. Ah, uh, but sorry, I, I did not mean to bring baggage onto you. You already have too much on your mind. Ah, uh, here, I will no. leave you the bottle here. I have other things to attend to. The bottle? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, oh, is, is, that, I mean. is that bad? I, I do not mean to be offensive. I am not from Satya. I do not know what your culture is like. No, no, you are now my best friend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, well, that, that, that happened very fast. I didn't realize it would happen so fast. Oh, uh, very well. Uh, what, um, uh, you are... Uh, you Fritz. are called Fritz. <laughs> oh, well, it is nice to meet you, Fritz. Oh, I have a best friend now. Nice to meet you, Rama. Oh. Best friend. Oh. And so, yeah, you guys spend your time gambling and or securing your rooms at the inn and learning a little bit about Cecilia. Uh, who is going where now? Like, I assume you guys are meeting up somewhere, yeah? Well, I thought Fritz was going to come meet us at the... Uh, the, the gambling hall. Uh, I could come over. It would maybe be considered drunk flying, and that might be funny. I'm on my way. Actually, Fritz, are you oh, downing no. the, oh, whole, no. the whole bottle? I'm, oh, I've, gone, no. I've gone halfway through it. Halfway through. Give me a constitution oh, no. check. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm so it begins. down for that. Uh... Oh. Oh, oh, no. no. You are, no. As you are not... Bird. As you are not someone who drinks alcohol all that often, drinking that much all at once... Uh, your fly, uh, your your flight is a little bit wobbly, we'll say. Yeah, wobbly flight. I'm on my way. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. Why is this right, flight so wobbly? Huh? Oh, a lot of turbulence in this city. I walk through and I'm like, hello. Wait, are you guys in? I forgot. Uh, I... I'm standing outside with glowing hands, waiting for that to go away. <laughs> Just the hands in the pockets. Mm -hmm. How long does yeah. that last? Uh, I'll say it lasts like five hours. So, oh no boy. boy. Okay. It's essentially <laughs> like a magical five hour ban slash uh, uh, tattletale on you. Yeah, it's like a brand. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you, you see that word has, you know, fairy fire glowy hands. Uh, welcome back. <laughs> Hello, want some? Y uh, yes. <laughs> oh no. Wait, I am I. Take it. I a you want to show me your hands or you want me to pour it down your throat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll show you one. Like, they're glowing. Like, I think through the yep. pants, oh. like they're really wacky. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll take a, f a few swigs. <laughs> Good little man. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, they're they're inside. I think turning money into a bag. I don't know. Oh yeah, are we actually gonna try and gamble for the bag of holding? <gasps> No, nah, not without my magic <laughs> and my jacket. Well, I can come yeah, in. I, don't think I have, anything I have an idea. Want. Oh no! I'm gonna come in, and I'm like, to you. T I'm like, I like point at you, and I'm like, friends, and I'm running over. Oh. Yep. You see, Fritz. and as you do run in, Aurelia notices a new face as well, and she immediately takes an interest. Even greener. Hello, bird. <laughs> oh, there she is. Oh. And she she sees you, and uh, she just kind of extends a hand. Ah, hello, and you must be the final pilgrim. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Come to have a little bit of fun at our establishment. Fritz, are you feeling all right? I am already having fun. You're just making it better. Oh. Mm. I see. Um. <laughs> oh, and would you like to play a few games, my friend? I was... Never very good at math. Oh, that's okay. It's all luck here. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Luck is math. Alcohol? Whatever. <laughs> 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 I think I'm just watching with interest. Like, <laughs> I think I haven't willingly gambled unless Buck has put me back at the table again. I don't have so money to watching. gamble, but I have whiskey. Oh. Can uh, I Fritz, I can. I can spot you a couple of uh, gold coins. I, Fuck, don't I you owe Fritz gold? Full. I do owe yeah. Fritz gold. I can't pay back the whole thing. Um, it's so the I whiskey or nothing. A little bit. 
I'm sorry. I'm playing Interesting. Out a bit. I hope that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love okay. this. This is very funny. I like I like slam my fist in it and I'm like the whiskey or nothing. Are you playing it for it? She kind of narrows one eyeball. Um, we've got plenty of drink here. <laughs> yes, but it's one from the pilgrim's hand. I'll put down two. Can I put down like two gold pieces and just like kind of like give Aurelia like a just do this is just what just <laughs> bet this. Hmm. She takes it while eyeballing you, Fritz, and uh, she puts her own two gold on the table as well. Exciting. And what excitement. will we be playing today? Buck, what are we playing? <laughs> Oh, uh, well, um, there's a roulette, uh, which I think would be a lot of fun. You get to watch a ball go around a little, uh, looks just like my hammer here. Um, that'd be fun for you to do. It's truly action-packed. Hmm. But I do bore of this small game of chicken scratch. I would like to make it more interesting. Do you have anything Is that more? culturally proper? insensitive? <laughs> Hmm. I only have my friendship and a bowl of whiskey. Here, I've got something I can offer. Um, can I put the uh, potion of healing, the greater healing potion? Oh, uh, the greater healing potion. I knew it was only a matter of time before we went into our, our stash <laughs> of actually important adventuring supplies. <laughs> How about a Whatever, mess kit? I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. You know what, Fritz? I appreciate you taking the time to try and engage yourself in a new experience. So I will put up this, and I'll put the uh, potion of healing. Yes, I am engaging it. in a new experience. <laughs> hmm. Not being drunk, the playing of the game. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Very well, then. How about a potion for a potion? And she puts up one of her own potions that she pulls out of her pack. And on it, you can see that there is a fist uh, symbol kind of on the label. It is a potion of giant strength. Oh, yeah. Ooh. A potion for Cusco. Cusco's potion. <laughs> Cusco's potion. That so it's two gold, two gold and the potion. Two gold and your potions. Can we make it slightly mm. sweeter? From an, from an oh, owl no. to a half owl. You know, buddies. <laughs> hmm. What do you propose? Fuck. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll I'll put down. I you know what? I said I had no gold. What would four? What about the? Someone said something about a bag. If I put four, uh, what four gold extra? Could we get the bag thrown in maybe? Hmm. Ooh. This bag is very important to me. Tell you what, we'll play a little bit. I'll get to see how you play, and then we'll see about the bag. You are new after all, and. Playing at luck is like speaking a language. I want to see what your accent is. <laughs> oh, I have many accents. <laughs> I could talk like you. Well, very well then. All right then. Let's Let us go. see. <laughs> All right. Oh, so, so roulette. Uh, I have the roulette table up. Do you? Are you going to bet on a color or a number? I like colors. What is a color? What colors are there? There, there is red <laughs> and there is black. I like the red. The dark of ages past. I will go ah. for red. Thank you. Then I'll put mine on black. And this is just going to mm -hmm. be a coin flip then in that case. So oh, she boy. drops a uh, metal orb onto the roulette table. It spins and spins and spins. And come I'm going to roll on, 1d2. On a one, it will be red. On a two, it will be black. You are red, right, Fritz? Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. On a one, on a one. one is red. Come on, one. Two is black. It's one. Yeah! Nice. yeah. <laughs> Built in as luck as But you say. see that it's rolling, <laughs> oh. rolling, rolling. It lands on the one, or on the red, and then it, boop, over to the black. And Buck, you notice, because of your gambler feet, she cheated. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. Um, oh. what does she do? I mean, you can see that uh, while she's like moving around, you can see her her gloves. She whisks her hand underneath the table into a spinning motion that pushes like you think that it's going to fall on the red. But just at the last moment, it tips over to the black. 
Hmm. And she goes, oh, um, a darn shame. And she starts to reach for the potion and money. Um, I will take my smaller Do hammer. any of the others of us notice either what happened or how she did it? I would say Buck is the only one that notices because of his gambler feet. Hmm. Mm. Um, I will take my, uh, I have a smaller hammer in my, uh, inventory, and I will, like, pound it, uh, in between, so, like, essentially placing it in between, uh, her hand and where she's reaching for. Oh. Um. She stops. Now, I've been doing this for a, a little while, um, so... Believe me when I say I, I don't want to uh, accuse anybody of being unforthright in a game of chance. But we, I think you and I both know that Fritz won that game fair and square and is entitled to her winnings. She stares you down for what seems like an eternity. And <laughs> she takes her other hand to tighten her glove and she tips her hat. Well played, Buck. And she leans back. You have, you can take your winnings. Winnings! I, uh, take, the, I take the winnings and, uh, I, um, so it's, what is it? It's four, it's, four, so we got, I put down two gold, so I get four back. And then we, and then I also get the, uh, potion. the, potion, the of... Uh, potion of giant strength yep. to Fritz. All right. Oh. Um, and then I'll take, I'll take, I'll take one, um, uh, I'll take one uh, gold piece and I'll flick it towards uh, Aurelia. Oh. Uh, for your troubles, <laughs> and as uh, a fellow servant of Lady Luck, and I'll let her have that one. She kind of narrows one eye. You can tell that she looks at you as if she has been disrespected. Uh, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she has. Uh... I think now might be a time where we should uh, head out of here. DM question. Oh, but you were doing so well. Is this a homebrew one or an actual one that I can just... This is a home homebrew potion. Okay. Potion of giant strength. What it does is this is a hill giant strength, is it makes your strength 21 for, oh, it is... oh, it for it one exist, for then. one hour. Awesome. Um, Leira, it's, I just think that we could probably find a more reputable establishment to do this at. Oh, well, I defer to your expertise. Was my ax my impersonation of the map bad? I'm just trying to match accents. Oh, no, no, it was, it, was it, was it was really good. Uh, it, perfect, perfect. Let's, but let's, uh, let's continue this party. I got a deck of cards. We can finish this up at the, uh, at the, uh, inn where... Were you able to find where it is, Fritz? Or? Yes. Um, it might be hard to get back. <laughs> and why <laughs> Why would it be hard to get back? So you, I've been trying to fly in a straight line. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure we can like, follow the roads. Yeah, road sounds like an idea. <laughs> right. Just like offer a shoulder in case you're a little wobbly. I am a strong bird. I got this. Don't worry. You guys are going to head to the Soft Shores Inn then? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the plan. Unless anyone else has anything they want to do. Mm -mm. Um, I think we're good. We're good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you go towards the Soft Shores Inn. You meet Rama as well, who sees you all there. And he is like... Taken aback, he almost drops uh, kind of the plates that he's carrying as he's cleaning up some stuff. He's like, oh, 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 oh uh, pilgrims, uh, uh, you're here. Wow. Oh, wow. Best friend. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, uh, yes, I, I am Rama. Uh, it's nice to meet you all. Uh, thank you. Uh, once again for for coming to my uh, paying, uh, coming here, sleeping here. Not not with me. Well, sleeping in my place. M not my home, of course, but my, my inns. <laughs> it's interesting to see this from the outside. <laughs> you, Aren't they great? Um, 
right. Do you have beds for us? Or are you? Ex- I'm confused. Do you want us to sleep in your bed? No, no, no. no, no. I, uh, uh, I, sorry. Fritz, Fritz, we trusted you to find a, a respectable establishment. This for us is to a sleep respectable in, establishment. Fuck, you don't get to talk to my best friend like this. <laughs> no. Best friend? <laughs> Best friend. He scratches the back of his head. Dead, I'm dead. sorry, uh, your, your standards must be a lot higher since you're pilgrims. I, I, I will make sure the beds are as soft as possible. You will have uh, the best sleep, I guarantee. It is, uh, you have your own rooms. I have, uh, was just planning on going to make the beds today. I, I, I'm just cleaning them right now. They are soaking in uh, the soaps. Uh, oh. But yes, they will be dry by, by tonight, of course. I'm sure it'll be more than sufficient. Thank you for your hospitality. Uh, thank you, of course, yes. Um, and he kind of rubs his hands a little bit. Uh, you can see he's got nerves all through his whole body. He's shaking. He's got the jitters. This and he's is common, down. biologically speaking. Can I pat him on the back? Uh, you can. As you get close, he kind of like hesitates a little bit. Like he kind of kind of pulls himself away just ever so slightly. Uh, is there something wrong? Is, is all okay? I wanted to offer friend comfort. Oh. Uh, I, I, I guess that's okay. I, is this normal in Satya? Have confidence, It's normal yes. for Fritz. Have confidence, have confidence. <laughs> oh. uh, thank you. Mm. Oh, that, uh, She's very good at her job. I recommend you let her do her thing. <laughs> I give oh, amazing well. hugs. <laughs> <laughs> and you, give him, you give him a little pat on his back. Well, thank you. It is very nice. Ah. Uh, I'm going to go but sit down with my whiskey now. <laughs> while the bed sheets are s- soaking and, and cleaning up, of course, uh, if you could, would you have perhaps maybe 30 minutes to spare? I always wanted such accomplished people to come to my inn, and I want it to be immortalized so that I may show it off, maybe bring in some more customers, but mostly just for myself, a peace of mind. Would that be okay? That sounds absolutely yes. Yeah. Certainly, sure, yeah. yeah. Immortalizing. <laughs> oh yes. Thank you so much. I will send for the painter right now. And you can see he whisks his hand. He does a little sending spell, and uh, he says they'll be here soon. Oh, uh, I, I will leave you to it. Here, I uh, here refreshments. And he puts out a couple of bottles. You can see that it's um, some carbonated drinks, some alcohol, general stuff, and some crackers oh. as well. <laughs> Oh, this is very nice. Um, I forgot to make a note of it because I'm stupid. Um, or I did and I don't know where it is. Wasn't there something I was supposed to deliver and I, to someone's, was it family? Were they uh, The him? Dragonborn it's, family. Uh, that's uh, down south of us. Oh. Yeah, it's yeah so not in Nubisque. Okay, we were going to do it when we're uh, done. Wait, let, this, me, let me make sure I make a note of that now whilst I'm getting the information quickly. Yes, you have a little wood carving of a small dragonborn, like about the size mm-hmm. of, like you can hold it in your hand. Mm-hmm. Of a small white dragonborn that was given by Koriak to bring to his family in Vicerli. So we're just waiting for the artist to show up? Yes, so you guys are in there. You, uh, you can have snacks. You can have uh, whatever you need to do during downtime. Um, Does this like a short rest, rest perhaps? <laughs> oh yes, if you you can. Well, long rest is eight hours. Um, right. But you can you, you can, can call it a day if you rest. want, uh, or you could short rest if you so wish. Uh, what does short rest replenish? I forget. Short rest uh, replenishes Depends as many quest. hit points as you're willing to spend your hit die. Which right now you have four since you're level four. You can spend a four hit die. Um, some spells, depending on your subclass, I don't think you recover any spells uh, as a ranger. No. But certain uh, no. certain class features. I get my wild shape and my uh, swift stride shifting back. Yeah. So. You I don't think I get gonna rest a little bit while she wait. I'm just gonna eat a couple but crackers. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if you want, you can spend a uh, short rest spending like a hit die. You can just click uh, hit dice or uh, um, to recover hit points if you so wish. I I was fully healed thanks to. Mm. last time. I, yeah, I was... only my temp HP took any hits yeah. last time. So. <laughs> I got really lucky. But yeah, uh, you guys can have a short rest, and uh, after a little while, Rama's painter comes in with their big old canvas, and he sets kind of a little table for you guys to sit at and uh, be painted, and he mentions that it will also take about half an hour. 
Cool. And Is word on the table? I have to know. <laughs> yes, standing triumphantly. Perfect. And uh, Rama uh, kind of sits off to the side away from you guys to give you enough space. And the painter starts sketching out and starts painting, putting oil on it. And while Thumbs this up. is all going on, Rama <laughs> just uh, mentions, uh, you know, this is the best news that has happened to me in recent memory. So I, I thank you so much for allowing me to do this. It's uh, been quite a rough few weeks for me recently. And you coming here, just seeing you, even if you did not come to my inn, seeing the pilgrims come to Nuba Sky, it's... Uh, it is nice. It brings really? some normalcy. I remember when I was a child seeing the pilgrims from a decade ago coming through Nuba Sky. Uh, hmm. It was a sight to behold. It was like heroes coming through our town to save the world. and Seeing that the, the heroes are now here in my inn <laughs> kind of helps me feel like I'm part of the story, you know? Of course you are. Has anything been wrong? Oh, or is no, it just no. a, a rough week? Uh, well, I am still new to this whole owning a business thing. This business was passed down uh, from my father, who passed uh, a couple of years ago. I'm okay now. It's oh. fine. I've moved on. But uh, I feel I am running it into the, the ground. People used to come here all the time. I would make friends with the neighbors and people of Nuba Sky. They treated me like a little brother. But now I don't know what to do. It's almost as if I've run out of my use. Maybe it's time oh. I moved on. Do you have a business competitor or something similar that could be drawing attention? Well, away? all of New Basque is my competitor. This is a place of tourism and people to come in, and you need to provide the best service or some sort of gimmick for people to want to go to you. But me, I, uh, I've not run a business for many decades like my father did, so... I don't know what else I could be doing. I provide good food as best I can. I provide lodging, but I don't know. I don't have a gimmick. Hmm. hmm. Oh, perhaps simply can I poke being good at what you do. I like to think I am good at what I do, but maybe that is not enough. Maybe I'm not cut out to be an innkeeper. Ah, have you ever thought that. about what you would do if you do not do what you do? Other dreams. Not really. <laughs> I usually don't. Yes, and I am in that same scenario, but I fear that I might have to do something else. I just don't know what that might be. Is this what your is there anything was? you want to do? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Well, I did always want to go on a journey like the pilgrims, but I am I am no combatant. I don't know the first thing about swinging a sword. Hmm. I guess me having this job was more of a compromise, really. Well, there are many paths to travel the world. Perhaps combat needs not be your strong suit. Oh, really? Well, it certainly isn't mine. Well, what do you do? Plants, mostly. Oh, like herbology? Sort of. I suppose it's a matter of finding what you're good at and finding what you enjoy and hoping those are the same thing. Oh, but what if I try one and things go horribly long? You'd still have tried. Hmm. I will keep this in mind. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Rama Did will I... remember that. <laughs> Did I do something right? Did I do something wrong? Lara, the socially awkward one that weirdly gives really good advice. Why do I keep talking to people? I'm so bad at it. And after about half an hour, the portrait is complete, and you see that it's uh, it, that in the portrait, Rama has actually scooted a little bit closer to you guys in the portrait as compared to when yeah. he started. After a little bit of conversation. Yeah. What are you guys doing in the portrait, by the way? I assume word is posing uh, heroically. <laughs> yeah, Thumbs up a much. bottle of whiskey. With, um, <laughs> how awkwardly balanced was it? Like, how much of a trial did it become after five minutes? <laughs> oh, word, word is fully committed. Like, he's been kind of staying silent, but, like, trying really hard not to change his face while listening to you guys. <laughs> I assume he's doing the, like, Napoleon, like, strong chin up. Like, 
Yeah, one of his arms is definitely like over his head. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> one leg up. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. and uh, after that's all done, uh, he gives you his thanks and he mentions that he's gonna go uh, get the sheets all ready in the back. And yeah, you guys have the rest of the day. Is there anything else you wish, anything, anywhere else you wish to go? There's another general markets and a, a blacksmith and, a, you know, hmm. a well, church official. Now board. that we have a non zero amount of money, if there's anything we need, we could yeah, potentially look like, into yeah. that. I would like to maybe have to oh, sorry, go ahead. rely on rations now <laughs> that we're off the ship. I think this is an inn, right? This is an inn. Yeah, they think he was giving us food. Food yeah, is right. probably a thing we can do here. Well, I just mean, like, because we're going to be leaving this place after a while. It's just something oh. to keep in mind, I guess, oh. before we leave. Yes. Let me say we this. We don't need to stock up now. Who? We all had a very, and I, and I wanted to say this before we go to bed, that I really appreciate you guys all coming with me to the gambling corner. Uh, a little gift from Lady Luck to us has been some gold. I say if we... we Go out and sample some cuisines of this fine town while, uh, because some of you have never been here before. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, I could eat. My hands stopped glowing, so that's that's nice. <laughs> I still can't so believe that. Were they glowing like during the beginning of the portrait? <laughs> yeah, they, they would have faded glowing. out by the end. Like, yeah. <laughs> I had to like repaint okay. it so they're not pink anymore. Yeah. Awesome. Oh boy. I think I might know some might be able to find us whip us up some new best sky grub. Let's 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 head out. Let's take advantage of the fact that we're traveling. Certainly. Uh Buck, would you happen to be bringing them to to a place that you're familiar with? Mm. Oh. Uh mm. that was not the plan, but I mm. just can. maybe want to look Oh man. Uh, you don't have to. But can, you can maybe I just maybe want to look around, like, uh, just, no, that is not the plan. I do not want to take that. <laughs> That's okay. That That's okay. We don't have uh, to. Uh, you must be this level friend to unlock least, my tragic backstory. <laughs> I don't I don't know about taking him to, I honestly didn't know whether or not you are going to put that in this. Uh, yeah, assuming we're, <laughs> you mean you give me backstory of, and expect me not I know, to use I, it? I, the I, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Uh, That's okay. Maybe, maybe not this, maybe not right. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what maybe happens. I would just like to. Yeah, I would just like to walk by the food stuff and see what I see. Okay. And then maybe make a decision. All right. Maybe. Yeah, you walk by, you kind of bring them to the more, like, restaurant-y areas where there's, you know, eateries and stuff like that. Um, it's got a lot of um, unhealthy foods, like the, the fantasy equivalent of fast food. Very greasy, lots of meat and fries and a lot of pastries and stuff like that. Um, very carnival food. Hmm. Right. And a lot Sounds of them heavy. fairly cheap as well. Like it, just a, a few silver, like at most. Ooh. Well, that's good for us right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is there I'll anything in particular you're looking for? <laughs> um, I, I guess something like, you know what, Joe? I, I want to look and see is the... Uh, the place that we're talking about, the um, it, are we walking by that place at all? You know that that place is around this district. You can go there. So yeah, you can walk by it. It's that. <laughs> that. <sighs> that. Place. Surely he doesn't like, mean that. <laughs> I feel like I do want to. Like, I, I guess maybe I'll like try to go on a route where I can walk by it. Okay. And, and see if I if I see how it's doing. Yeah, you walk <laughs> by it, and you can see that it's actually doing really well. There's a few customers inside, and you can see the person inside actually notices you, and oh, no. makes note. Oh, okay. And starts to walk out, and you hear the oh, jingling oh, of the door yeah. open. And you oh. hear her speak up, Buck. Buck, is that you? Uh, I think we need to <laughs> Snaps go. to attention. This, uh, um, it's, it's clear that our word and Le what are word and Lara and Fritz doing? <laughs> oh, I'm just I'm like sneering at you. <laughs> like the face that I have in the art is the one that I have right now when I'm looking at you. Buck, back around. No, wait, you don't see me for several years, and you don't even want to come say hi. Oh, oh, Zalindra! I'll, I'll like turn around and see, and and you see that there is a tiefling woman from the bakery who comes out and gives a warm smile, and you can see that she is just 
decorated oh, like. <laughs> with pastry frostings and breads and just a lot of stuff. And she just puts both hands on her hips, tilts her head to the side, gives you a smile, Buck. And she just speaks up. Well, it's nice to meet you. Nice to see you, uh, rather. Oh, <laughs> uh, Talindra, and I like kind of like take one hand, one like long arm, and scratch my head. Uh, <laughs> I really, I really meant to write you and tell you that we were um, that I was going to be in town because um, it's been a while since I've been back. But it's you look great. It's it's great. It's great to see you again. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll, I'll. Would you like to introduce us to your friend? Oh, uh, yeah. Who, who is this? I'll uh, walk forward. Um, can I give her like? Are, I'm assuming we're cordial enough where I can give her a hug. Is that Ooh. possible? I don't know. That's can a you? gamble, my friend. I think I, I think I think with her I can. <laughs> you go up to her and she actually hugs you first, and Aww. she goes and grabs you around the waist. She's quite shorter than you, quite a bit shorter, and she wraps right. around mm -hmm. the waist and she's just like, "Well, I'm just glad that you're doing okay." Um, Talindra, this, these are, um, I, I don't know if you had heard, I, I don't know if we're got here, but I'm, uh, I'm a pilgrim for, Word's uh, definitely here. <laughs> he nearly got arrested this morning. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I'm a pilgrim now for the, uh, uh, the quest for the, the great tree. Um, ah, you're the pilgrims of Satya. The That's quite of an the upgrade from what you were before. Right, right. <laughs> um, and this is, uh, uh, farmer. Right, this is Fritz uh, yeah. and Word and Lyra. Oh, nice Hello. to meet you all. You smell like cake. Me and Buck, we got a little bit of history. <laughs> we go back a little bit, but uh, I guess really? I just wasn't really right for him. Hmm. Isn't that right? Uh, right. T oh. This is my um. This is my ex-wife. Uh, oh. Tulindra. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, it's lovely to meet you. <laughs> Yeah, there's there's a lot of gravity here right now. You know, it's very interesting. <laughs> oh no! After you left, things started to really look up for me. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I mean, things have been looking up for me too after I left. I mean, I, I've, I've been I've, I've been doing pretty good. All this is considered. I mean, awful. like I said, I'm I'm a uh, I'm a <clears throat> I'm a pilgrim now, so I'm doing pretty good. I could see the the bakery is. Uh, Doing really, really well. Yeah, I have actually. a vitally important question. Can I tell if there are any kids in that building? You do not see any kids. You do see that there is another older tiefling that resembles uh, Talendra a lot. Uh, uh, Talindra uh, a lot. It seems to be hmm. very older. You can probably guess that it's probably her mother. Okay, hmm. cool. Just filing things away. You know, one head. piece of advice you gave me, Buck, actually did pay off. You told me to take a chance. <laughs> And so I did, and here I am making catering for the dragon. Oh, really? Um, well, I, I've, it, it's really good to, to see you, to see you're doing so well. Um, uh, can we, uh, we're looking for something to eat, if we could, if you wouldn't mind us stepping in for just a, a, a little bit. Oh, sure. Oh. I'm happy to show these folk. Here, you're all new to town, right? I know all the best spots. And she gives you a little bit of a tour throughout the place, shows you kind of the more hidden mom and pop places that are around. Um, she spends more time talking to you all rather than Buck, like deliberately. <laughs> um, and she's, oh, baby. She's very friendly to you. She provides, you know, some, some stories about um the town you know where she's been uh she's traveled a little bit herself but mostly kind of holed up here and keeping mm. details about her and buck fairly light probably good <laughs> she mentions that uh her shop was a lot more humble when she was together with buck as she was trying to kind of uh as she puts it balance things mm. Mm. Hmm. And yeah, she she shows like a few fancy restaurants, but uh, yeah. So tell me, that's my story. What about y'all? What are y'all getting out of this whole pilgrimage thing? I never quite understood how it all works. Well, it's fame, glory, and superiority uh, <laughs> over everyone. Mm -hmm. It's a vitally important role to play in the renewal of Olynthia as a whole. Ah. I... Yeah, that too. <laughs> Good whiskey. <laughs> well, sometimes the best things in life are the smaller things. It's always nice mm. to find someone who agrees with that. Hmm. 
I'm not very good at reading the room, so but Buckley. I'm going to hand the rest oh, of the oh, bottle no! to them. <laughs> I'm, I'm handing the rest of the bottle to them. I'm like, you need this more than me. <laughs> oh, baby. She takes it, and she kind of like uh, nods her head a little bit, lifting the bottle, and takes a swig like it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's my type of person. What was that little man, oh, Wad Buck Lee? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, uh, we don't really need to get into no, that in particular. These are your uh, new friends. I would assume that you've shared some secrets with them, yeah? Well, oh, we've been friends a long time. I'm no, surprised well, not... he hasn't shared it with you. <laughs> no, not exactly true. I just, we, the issue <laughs> is, is uh, you know, the, it's such a long story. You and me. Oh, I, I mean, got plenty of time. Tell... I'm on break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, plenty of time, huh? Well, maybe we just keep it. You can just keep it as short, and you don't have to go into too many details. Buck, uh, Buck, my friend, my my good, my good old friend, my buddy pal. I I didn't ask you. Ah, oh, that's right. Yeah, it's me. It's my prerogative to share or not. Buck, you can stay out of this if you want. You seem to like to stay out of things. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what did you do? Buck, Buck is just. Buck is Word like, does like a little snap. I think I think what you could tell from Buck is that he um. He's like embarrassed. Like it, he's embarrassed, uh, he's just embarrassed. Okay. by uh, um, by the situ- by the situation in general. Yeah. Listen, I tease, Buck. I don't hold anything against you. Really, it is quite silly. I'm honest when I say I hold no ill will against you. I just like to poke a little bit Can at you your insecurities. Gamble all your money away. <laughs> I don't know if I have too many insecurities. I don't know about that, but. Hmm. Didn't seem that I'm like you're barely stoic. talking on uh, yeah, just like how you seem to take it really well whenever I beat you in poker. Um, I don't know that that happened too many times. I can't really seem to remember. She looks down at work. You see, hon, me and Buck, we hit it off pretty well, but he had other priorities, as he liked to put it, and, well, I wanted to settle down, and he had other plans. I don't hold it against him. Buck, he's got plenty of other plans. Your plans, plans led you to settle down at a farm. What's up? <laughs> I just he looks at Buck. He's like, your your plans led you to settle in a different town in a farm. It was a long time ago that Talindra and I were together, and I was a much younger man, she a much younger woman, and mm. I had to <laughs> not 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 like that. I mean, she like narrows that. one eyebrow. Oh, she was so young. I was younger. I wonder what that means. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. I didn't mean to say it like that. I mean, just we were younger. We were younger. We were. I mean, I think we, I was just, we were just kids and I, I had to, I wanted to yeah, go were, out. Hmm, and last explore. I checked, kids don't seem to get married. Okay. I'm going to cast a message <laughs> on, on Buck and I'm just going to relay. Yeah, there's probably fewer pastries back then, huh? Shut the hell up, words. Can I, I don't know if I can respond. <laughs> you're right. You're right. We, we were adults. We may, I mean, I just say kids because it just feels like so long ago and I, she puts she goes I up should... to you and puts one hand on your arm buck <laughs> but it's okay it's in the past <sighs> i just hope Talindra. Yeah. I, I just hope for your own sake that you figure it out what it is you want we don't need another situation uh, like us uh, <clears throat> you know that i've been trying to i'm still trying to figure it out now but uh I've I got more time to to do that, but I'll figure it out eventually. This has all sort of been a part of it, and these fine folk and I are gonna go out and I think maybe you know work towards that a little bit more. So, can I give you a piece of advice, Buck, as someone who deeply cares about you and still thinks of you as a friend? Oh, sure. You better figure it out fast before you rope somebody else into your shenanigans. No one else should have to pay for what you do. And I say that because I care. (coughs) Especially these, as you say, fine folk. You understand me? I always have. It's been quite a few years, and I like to believe that you're a better man than you were. Please, fulfill that trust. I'll do my best. Being a pilgrim is a good first step. <laughs> well, um... So, she claps her hands. Who wants donuts? Ooh. <laughs> nah. What's a donut? 
Oh, you're in for something uh, sweet, my friend. Come on, I'll bring you back to the shop. It probably comes from like a like a tree. <laughs> and your mother's in there, like right? Uh, I'll stick. I'll stay outside. That's probably what it is. And she brings you back to her shop. Nana, bring them some donuts. And uh, yep, you guys get uh, a. You have some delicious pastries, if not donuts of your choice. Mm. There's some cakes and stuff. She lets you have like at least like one serving of something on the house. Anything mm. else is going to cost you like a silver to get. Mm. Okay. And uh, these pastries are incredibly delicious. And everyone who eats one can roll me a D4. Ooh. Can we... I'm absolutely eating one. Ooh, I want to eat one. Slash so what kind D4. of tree does this donut come from? Two. Two. Dude. All right, these pastries are so incredibly delicious and imbued with magic that you gain temporary hit points equal to what you roll. Oh, heck oh, yeah. How'd I put nice. Tem- <laughs> these are going to last for until we sleep. <laughs> incredibly popular There's with like the gladiators. Um, oh. Do you have anything really, really sweet? Like small, like I can carry you around. Hmm. I can get you an eclair if you like. <gasps> yeah, how much? Oh, just one silver for you, darling. Okay, I'm going to buy that. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she wraps it into some like packing paper um, and puts it in a fancy little box with a, a cute Olympian Aww. sigil on, the, on, on it. Oh, thank you. I don't and... think she would be that nice about if she knew who I was giving it to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, this is quite a lovely shop. Uh, thank you. I really did mean it, though, that following Buck's advice was a good thing. I was very concerned about branching out. And although it did take a lot of money to start doing stuff for the Colosseum, it was quite a leap of faith. In the first few years, it was very, very difficult on us, but it paid off, and now we're doing really well. I'm thinking about expanding, actually. Oh. Hmm. Well, if you ever get into uh, Saccio, I mean, they could definitely use a, we could definitely use a good bakery over there um, when this is all over, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely. Um, I hear they got some wonderful ingredients over there. Y'all got a farm, Certainly. right? Mm-hmm. Many, in fact. And a dog. Oh, right. Imports are really cheap. Mmm. <laughs> Having homegrown ingredients is always good. <laughs> Whew. Well, Talindra, and, and I, I don't mean to, I, I, I mean this sincerely. It was really, really nice seeing you again, and I, and I'm really happy that you're doing a successful. Uh, I'm mean, doing as well as you are. I mean, it, it was nice to see you too, Buck. Right... I'd really mean that. It was the right choice for you. I'm, I'm, I'm confident in seeing that, and I'm really happy for you. And uh, it, it, it's good to see you found your place in, in this town. The longer they take, the more cupcakes I'm buying. <laughs> I, just anything to do other than eavesdrop on this. Yes. <laughs> and I do hope that you find what you're looking for, Buck. I don't know what it is. You've always been lighting on the details, but. I just worry if it's all worth it, you know? All the trouble you go through. Just be wary it doesn't hurt anybody yeah. else, yeah? Of course. Um, I'm, uh, I'm not out to break any more hearts or anything like that, so uh, we'll... Uh, uh, I think it's... Oh, I'm so tired. It's a long <laughs> boat trip. We fought a, a like a goop monster on the way in. And oh, yes, that I was today. Oh, my gosh. I got a... Yeah. T- you run into the plot? Yes. Oh uh-huh. my gosh. Well, I'm, by, by God's, I'm so happy that you're not heart hurt. I wouldn't have even guessed. Here, here, th- take yeah. some more of the donuts. And she hands each of you an extra of the gladiator's donuts. Oh, oh heck yeah. Donuts. All right. <laughs> add to inventory. Snacky. Yeah, so How in case you didn't to... couldn't tell, a gladiator's donut, you eat it, you get a D4 of temporary hit points. Oh, incredible. Let's see. Custom item. Whatever the case may be, I won't keep you for long. I hope this tour was fun, and it was genuinely nice to catch up to you, Buck. And I'm glad you're doing what you're doing now. Yes. I'll make sure to stop by here on the return journey. Uh, I look Mm -hmm. forward to it. Well, unless anyone else has anything to say to my ex-wife, I'm gonna <laughs> head on uh, out uh, here. No, that was that was. It fun. was a pleasure to meet you. Uh, pleasure to meet you too, Don. Oh. On the way out, I wanna like I'm a puck, puck. What? What? Oh. Like, 
I know it's kind of awkward to talk, so I, I grabbed you this, and I slide you the eclair. Aww. <laughs> oh, um, th thanks. For, it's, it's, it's not, it's not too awkward to, to talk. It's just been a long time, and there's, I think it's maybe, there's just maybe a lot more to say that I don't know how. I guess in that sense, it is difficult to talk. Let's go back to the end. <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully a sweet thing leaves a better taste in your mouth and leaves it on a better note. Aww. Uh, to be to be frank with you, Fritz, I've never really had to worry with Talindra. She's always been uh, as sweet as the donuts and the eclairs that she sells. Uh, uh, makes me uh, part of the reason I think I feel so bad about it. You always did like sweet things. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm blushing. Shut up. Fritz. Here's the here's the some of the gold that I owe you, and I give you ten ten gold because uh, I borrow that from you. How do I end this conversation? <laughs> Take my money. <laughs> Take I money. Know you money. me gold. Let's go. <laughs> I, <was> like, <laughs> I did. I still owe you five more. <laughs> oh baby, it's it's okay. It's literally Fritz would not but remember, and I'm so right glad now. I don't have to either. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I remember for you. I'll... All right, so you're going back to the inn then. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. do it. Yeah. You go back to the inn, and you have your rooms all readied up, thanks to Rama, who has fluffed Ooh. them up. They're fluffy and soft, fitted <laughs> sheets. <laughs> How do I erase that? Uh, you got to select, select it with it. the select delete. One delete. Okay. Nobody saw anything. <laughs> Nobody saw anything. <laughs> Rama shows you to your rooms, gives you keys. And you guys have the rest of the night to yourselves. Woo! We've done it. Is there it. anything anyone wishes to do before they call it a night? I wish to pester Rama and try to give them a temporary tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> you pester Rama, and uh, he is just setting up for the next day. Uh, yes, uh, Miss Fritz. Rama, have you ever thought of having a tattoo? Oh, yes. I always wanted to get one of uh, my dad's name, uh, except in a cool font, you know, like oh. with flames and stuff. <laughs> it's not permanent, but I have some lettering here, and I'd like to spool it out. What you want. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, yes. Uh, let me. And he picks out some letters. Yeah. Please tell me his dad's name is short. <laughs> All right. <laughs> On your back, right? Ooh, I was thinking on my arm, but my back is definitely more heroic. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm like I'm trying to look around for a, like a wet dishcloth or something. And I'm like, can I, I use this? this? <laughs> oh, y yes, of course. Use whatever you need. Cool. And I'm like, I like put it on their back and I'm like, ta-da. Is it going to work on scales? Yeah. Uh, yes. Because I said it does. Because <laughs> it's okay, a fantasy incredible. world. Yeah, yeah. Of Heck course, yeah. it would be. And they're magic tattoos. Mm -hmm. And you you spell it out as he describes each letter. He says F L E A N O. Fliano. 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 What a cool ass. And then name. whenever you're finished, he just kind of like flexes his arms up, kind of looking at his back. And uh, he props up one of the silver plates to use as a mirror. And he just like, yes. <laughs> now he will always be with me for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> always for a you know little what? while. I'm, gonna, oh I'm just going to give him the temporary tattoos and be like, here, put them <gasps> on as much as you can until you have the courage to get it done permanently. <laughs> he takes the sheet and tears start to roll down his eye. Oh, oh thank you, Miss Fritz. I, I will treasure this and use it whenever I need to. Uh, sparingly. I want to keep hold on to this for as long as I can. Use it when you, you lose courage. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Oh. I'm a hop skip off. I'm like, okay, I've done my Fritz, good Fritz, you already have today. an inspiration, but take another one. <laughs> God. How do I so mark you down? Two, you have two inspirations now. I don't know where to mark it down. Just, I don't know, somewhere. You have two inspirations to spend. Sick. Mm. I'll put it in my notes. Yeah. All right. And anybody yeah. else doing anything else throughout the night? I'm collecting Probably just babies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'm good. Layra, do you have a casting focus of any kind? Uh, I have a druidic focus, yes. Um, what is it? It It's like a little um, 
mistletoe like living sprig that I have kind of woven as a bracelet. Mm -hmm. Uh, The mistletoe starts to like move its kind of leaves and flowers as if like uh, one of those sped up videos of flowers blooming for the sun, indicating that Shamaya is trying to communicate with you. Oh, Uh, is there anything I have to do to make that happen? I assume we've done this before. Then I'll sit and meditate. You sit and meditate, and out from the floor, a kind of smoky incense, similar to the one from the tent, appears in the form of Shamaya. And let me find her. <laughs> there she is. She was in the archive section. Ah. And she appears before you, speaking through the incense as you see her image form through the smoke. Hello, child. I wanted to check up on you. This is the first time you've been away from home in quite a long time, and quite far at that point. I wanted to see how you were doing. Hello. Things have gone fairly smoothly so far, I believe. It can be difficult to judge. Hmm. Pretty well. We were attacked by the blot on the ship, but we successfully repelled them, so I'm considering that fairly smooth, all things considered. Ah, yes. The blot. Uh... Correct me, uh, did you tell her the nature of the blot that you've learned from the Weather Witch? Oh, uh, I I actually don't think I've yet explained that we know it has some sort of necromantic link to the, the like, the, the it's like the jewelry artifact of yeah. the old ancient civilization. Um, that's a good point. Uh, I didn't bring it up because I was so focused on bypassing the geish last time to drop the hint about the Weather Witch that I kind of forgot to mention the important <laughs> stuff. Right, um, right. But that, thanks for reminding me. I can actually uh, communicate that now that um, uh, we have uh, learned something of its nature, though I'm not entirely sure how to pursue it just yet. There appears to be some connection between the blot and the relics of an ancient civilization whose ruins are spread throughout the wilderness. We haven't yet encountered them, but I was hoping we could pursue further investigation if we pass any of the ruins on our journeys. Ah, yes, the ruins of the old world. It would be a very good place to look if we are to learn any more of the blot. And from your accounting of this weather witch that you have mentioned, I have studied Mm. a little bit more of the nature of her summoning the blot. It's very intriguing. As for your little encounter, I must apologize, but it will take me a little bit more time before I can lift her restraints on you, whatever they may be. I'm trying my best, child but I do hope that you can be a little bit more patient with me. Everything is fine. (laughs) I think that's about all I can say on that subject. (laughs) Like, I can't even acknowledge what she just said. I understand Um, that you cannot speak on it, but that is why you are my best pupil. You're very clever. Oh, (laughs) thank you. Hmm. Um, Nothing else to report, then? Uh... Buck has had some personal drama, but I believe that is to be expected. (laughs) Um, And Word has successfully not gotten arrested today, so... I am a miracle worker. (laughs) He just threw the wall, muffled. (laughs) Um, I (laughs) suspect there is an intelligence at the heart of the blot, and that alarms me. When we were attacked, one was unlike the others, and it targeted me specifically. Hmm. You are the one with the dragon heart, are you not? Yes, I haven't let it leave my person since we acquired it. This is the first case that we've seen a blot attack with prejudice. Usually, they simply act on instincts going for whoever is closest. That does bring up questions. Yes. Hmm. Thank you, child. I'll put this into my research, see what I can find. Happy to help. She squints her eyes a little bit, as if she's almost trying to peer into you. <laughs> you remind me of... I... Never mind. You have a good night's Excuse rest, me? child. Uh, yes, you as well. And the incense dissipates as her form goes away. All right. Well, nice that that's well in hand, I think. <laughs> Now I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> Get my spell <laughs> slots back. Oh, yeah. Now that you have something to keep you up at night. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, 
as long, it, it's nice to yeah. know that <laughs> Shemaya is like up to speed on what's going on with the blot and potentially working on it. That makes me feel better about the whole situation. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. But, uh, yeah, if that's the night, then you all rest up. You get a long rest. Your All your class yes. features are oh, brought good. back to full. Your hit points are brought back to full. Your spell slots, everything. Everything oh, is back up. And the next morning comes a bright, beautiful day in Nuba Sky. Oh, glorious. And I'm guessing that... Uh, you guys will be heading... Actually, where are you heading now? What's the plan? What's the plan for you today? Want, you want to call the person, Lyra? Yeah, Lyra. Oh, yes. Uh, what do we have to say to him? I don't know. You talk. Just see if we can figure out... Because we. I think at this point we should... I, hold on. Does everyone feel ready to go and meet the dragon? I see no reason to delay. Uh... I think so. Uh, definitely before we leave, we should go do some stuff in that there uh, Coliseum. <laughs> I think it would certainly right, behoove I... us to introduce ourselves to the dragon. Perhaps it would even be disrespectful not to on our first full day in the city. Right. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just saying, like, later. We, we shouldn't leave without that. Of course. Uh, sh I guess I can pull out the Sending Stone and uh, call... The, the knight in shining armor. Mm -hmm. But like, what are, well, I mean, do we need him to, to like liaison with the dragon or are we just like letting him know? Uh, what, uh, that is a good question. Yeah, I'm not entirely not sure what, to. like what role he fills in our. He could just be, just, I think he offered to show us the way to the, I think mean, he could show us the way to the dragon maybe, or. Hmm. I mean, it couldn't hurt to just give him a call and just ask if he could help us get to the dragon. I mean, yeah. Okay, uh, I'll pull out the sending stone. <laughs> All right. Uh, and I will use the one charge it has per day, uh, I guess. Uh, it's got infinite charges in a day. It just can only be used in yeah. the sky. Oh, okay, cool. Mm. Well, it, it, I had to add it from just the inventory, so it's a bit ah, generic. right, okay. Um, mm. uh, and I will say, um, <clears throat> Sir Goldbark, good morning. <laughs> it's the pilgrims from... Anyway, we were hoping to <laughs> see the dragon today, and we thought it would be best to liaison with you about this. I hope we haven't woken you up. Talk soon <laughs> and you get a message back from uh Edmund oh, thank God. goldbark and he says <laughs> left on red he says <laughs> good morning i am currently waiting okay. on a meeting with the lord you can head to the coliseum the dragon is likely there i don't wait i can respond i because he said infinite charges yep yeah all right thank you that's it. Let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How'd it go? Did, did, did he respond? Yes. We can't, uh, he, we can't he, hear him through the stone. Oh, can yes. We my apologies. The stone? Can you? Yeah, you I can. It's like a like on speaker. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I just uh, push the little button and it glows a little brighter. Uh, shall we All go right, to the Coliseum? Then. All my interests have been met. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay, well. So you start to head your way to the Coliseum. And... Uh, there's a uh, crowd outside having a fun time, having drinks, singing songs. It appears as though oh. whatever event that's happened inside seems to be over by the time you get there, um, as it takes you like about an hour or so to reach. Is there a banana in pajamas <laughs> right there? What are you talking about? That's just yeah. Buck. I don't know what that, that's me. It's that's you, it's laying down. Buck has become a giant. It, oh. It's me, Buck, I'm <laughs> giant now. I'll take on the dragon. <laughs> so you head to the Coliseum. Yeah, the crowd outside <laughs> seems to have completed, uh, been celebrating some kind of an event that has happened. And checking uh, closer to the crowd, you can see that kind of in the center of it all, uh, there's sort of a larger figure. And checking closer, you see the undefeated oh champion herself, Cecilia the Great, oh no. dragon of Nuba Sky. Here comes the art. Ruh -roh. Yeah! Ah. Oh, big Asterius yes. energy. <laughs> yeah. And uh, <laughs> she seems to be taking in her most recent victory and is lounging about her adoring fans, kind of like flexing and posing and signing some <laughs> autographs and stuff. 
Hmm. Well, I wouldn't want to interrupt her. <laughs> it, it, she's not doing anything. She's done. I can interrupt her. Oh, no. <laughs> You're very good at that. Go get him. <laughs> go! Yeah, go go interrupt. Go, go get word, him. Use word. Uh, you, you said she's just like signing autographs. She's signing autographs, autographs and stuff. kind of making jokes, kind of being a celebrity. Hmm. Okay. I'll walk up to her. Oh. Uh, like, kind of offhandedly waving to people <laughs> as if I also just accomplished something. Yes, yes. They don't seem to take any note of you. <laughs> A little bit below the eye line. Uh, you are C Cecilia. We have been looking for you, me and my friends over there, mainly the big one. We huh? are the champions of Olympi. <laughs> oh yes, here you go, little one. And she signs like a sheet of paper and hands it to you. <laughs> Guys, I got the heart. <laughs> and I run back. Really? Is that easy? Pretty easy, I mean. Uh, that was incredibly easy. Uh, uh, excellent work word. I'm going to walk in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Next town, baby. <laughs> so you walk into the crowd, then? I'm going into the yeah, I'll, crowd, I'll yes. It's actually kind of refreshing that everyone's looking at somebody else. <laughs> yeah, you walk oh, into the I'll crowd. Follow. It I'm takes gonna... quite a bit of pushing around to try and nudge your way in. And she is just continuing to make jokes and stuff. And yeah. What do you do? Maybe maybe I can scalp that signature later. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> free gold. Um, yeah. I'm going to, uh, if assuming I get to like, I guess the front of the line or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to bow a little bit. Um, I'm sorry for the interruption. This seemed the quickest way to reach you. We are the pilgrims from Sasha. She interrupts we you before directed. you even finish your sentence. She notices you like come and bow and she's like, oh, someone with some respect. Oh, thank you. What can I do for you? Autograph, painting, portrait. I can show you the cannons if you like. And she doesn't wait for an answer before yes, she please. flexes her arms pointing to the sky. Oh, too late. They're already <laughs> gone. <laughs> See, that one's uh, free. And she winks at you. <laughs> uh, I appreciate it. Perhaps we could discuss the matter of your heart. And she uh, kind of like waves her hand. Yep, yep, yep. Cool, cool, good, good. Uh, oh, you over there. And she starts to walk over to somebody else. We're the pilgrims of Satya. You're the dragon? I, I, don't, think she, I don't think she cares. I don't think she understands. Uh, There's a slight difference. <laughs> she just kind of like signing some things. It doesn't seem like she's heard you. Mm. She is really into the crowd right now. Lyra, what did I say about inside Either voice? When you first met me, inside voice doesn't work. You gotta use the outside voice. Remember the first time we met? Go for it! Uh, um... Yeah, and, mm. and Lyra, Cecilia is, a, is like a uh, performer, like a like a gladiatrix, so best to, if you're gonna call her out like that, do, do it proudly and, and, and in front of all her fans. Why Just, am I doing this? Buck, maybe you should be doing this. <laughs> I think, I think we kind of voted when you were gone, and Fritz, Fritz and Word and I kind of agreed. Maybe it was, I don't know, you do it. Yeah, I, I thought this was kind of your. This thing. is a conversation that happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like nudge it Fritz. Just now. Uh, you got this. <laughs> <laughs> We all have faith in you. We're, we'll back you up if you. We'll follow your lead. You call her out. In fact, I'll I'll uh, stand right next. Yeah, to I'm you. standing. I'll with stand you. next to you as well. Yeah, we'll. Yeah, we'll. Fritz <laughs> flies. Fritz fly on top. So we're just like a wall. This is my literal nightmare. <laughs> I would like to. Here, I'll get step... her. I'll get. Her, I'll get her attention. No, there's no, no need. I would like to step in front of Celia and. <clears throat> I'd like to step in front of Celia and wild shape into a bear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand there. All right, you wild shape into a bear. The crowd kind of disperses a little bit. Whoa, like, and they gasp. And Cecilia kind of like flexes her arms and like uh, notices and kind of cracks her neck a little bit. Oh, a challenger, are you? I'm not making any move to attack, but I would like to hold up for the first time. I'm taking it out of my inventory. I didn't wild shape it away. Elias's heart. She, and then I'm going to put it back. She looks at it. You want me to sign that? <laughs> uh, can I, 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 the, the most disappointed look a bear can muster. <laughs> <laughs> it goes back uh, <laughs> into the fur. All right. You're just sending uh, me a lot of mixed signals here. I'm going to turn back. I, I'm sending you exactly one signal. <laughs> 
We are the Pilgrims of Sachi, and you are the leader of this city. We need to talk. And on top of that, the big guy over there, and I point at Buck, he <laughs> wants to fight you. He thinks he can win. Yes, also that is happening. Oh, the Pilgrims of Sachi. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were tourists. Uh, my mistake, but hey, you're still free to admire if you like. <laughs> Yes, they're uh, very impressive. I, I've been admiring this whole time. <laughs> uh, can I lean over to all three of them and say, guys, just follow my lead on this. Okay. And then I want to take out the big blind, my hammer, and I want to slam it on the ground uh, as uh, uh, as forcefully as I can. And I want to say, um, Cecilia the Great, we're calling you out. <laughs> she she yeah. notices. Oh, are you? And she puffs her chest out nice yeah. and proud. And the crowd just like, ooh. And what are the terms of this challenge? I'm stepping as far back as I can go. This is a oh, mess. I, I, I want to stop later. I don't, well, what, what if like we flip a coin and if it lands on heads, then That's you give us your heart? <laughs> ah. Well, I, I steel cage match. <laughs> <laughs> She takes her fist and pounds it with her hand. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Mono e quadro. What? Ladders, chairs, all for the belts. Fritz, name something. Um, get get um, in on this. The World Cup. Candelabra. The final champion. What are the buzzwords? Um, Just, you're doing uh, great. Just uh, other ones. The, fi <laughs> uh, the ultimate goal, the height. Yes. The future of, of yes. the planet. For a great performance. This Sunday. <laughs> hangs in the balance. Oh, Lyra, add something. Come on. Tables. Lyra, add tables. tables. More tables again. <laughs> she crosses her arms and tilts her head and <laughs> kind of gives a little nod of approval. And here I thought the pilgrims this year would have been a bunch of squares. You all know how to have a bit of fun. All right, then. <laughs> Cage match, tables, chairs, oh, ladders, oh no. <laughs> the whole nine yards. Candelabras. And nine more yards. However, well, you got a team. I get to bring my own team. Don't worry, I won't be in dragon form, because I won't need it. I'm sorry, we're all participating in this? You did say one on four, yeah. didn't you? Uh, Did we? Uh, yes. I didn't say I that said, at I all. I said mono I mean, yeah. and I just did everybody. Tag team match. Oh, tag in and out. <laughs> we, we forgot to we say that. We want to do tag team? I don't know what the rules are. There is I'm no rules. Go. <laughs> she, 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 like, her eyes go wide. Actually, that sounds interesting. Tag team. Let's do it. Uh. <laughs> yeah, boy. What? I got her attention, Lyra. What, what, what'd you want? I got her attention. I don't know what that means. She know, was responding was to me when you hit the okay. hammer on the ground. Yeah. I, know I was following your lead. You turned it. You turned into a bear, like you wanted to fight her. I was just trying to. Match I turned the into energy. a bear to be at eye level with her. I am small. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I misunderstood. But we got her. We, we got her attention. Mm. Buck, all the love in my heart. This city is a mixed bag. <laughs> Oh come on! I've seen I've seen all kinds of fights and wrestling going on in the Coliseum. It's all fake anyway. It's just like a carefully crafted narrative told amongst multiple, uh, you know, multiple adventurers, fighters, and stuff. They have narratives, storylines that play out over multiple fights. It's all it's all fake. It's so we'll we be fine. We just need to win I'm the sure. favor yeah. of the audience. I don't. She uh, she pipes up. Oh, don't worry. I'll give you the heart whether you win or lose. Oh, good fun. Oh, that's extremely generous of you. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. That makes me more nervous, actually. Uh, I'm just, like, beaming, I like, don't like yeah, that it has to be we clean. get to be a good entertainer. I'm done. Actually, as far as I'm concerned, all of my uh, worries are now gone. <laughs> Thank you for being so sporting about this. <laughs> a sport is all I'm about, darling. Hmm. Fine. Later this Not evening. Right. Two hours. Oh, oh no. Uh huh. I'll see you inside, pilgrims. And she gives a wink and she starts to head off into the Coliseum, and the crowd around her cheers. I love you, Cecilia! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Well, that went well. 
Surprisingly, uh, I mean, yes. We we got an in at the end there, so we know what to do. What's it? What's the tag? Team I don't there? know. Um. Well, we're gonna. Only a certain amount of us are gonna be allowed in the ring, fighting only a certain amount of them, and then when you've had enough, you tag your teammate out, and they go in for you. Okay. Mm. So it's just two fights in a row. Uh, well, it's all one big fight, but you gotta take down the other team. I, Joe, if I'm wrong of, uh, about my understanding of the tag team, please feel free to step in. I'm going. You by, can tag people in yes. at any point. I'm going the fight. WWE rules here. Oh um, no! Which is kind of the vibe I was getting anyway. Um, and I don't know. To be honest, I just said steel cage. I don't know where. I really don't know what came over me to do that. Um, <laughs> me neither. You were possessed by the spirit of the game. I just something about this city is seeping its way back into me, and I. All right, so we got to do like a persona thing, right? I'll be word the the God King Conqueror. Uh, what are you guys gonna be? Ooh. Um. Um. Like character names. We have to pick different names. Feathers. I don't think we have to you do cannot anything. cannot be the God King Conqueror. <laughs> I will call myself Feathers. I'm light as a feather and can move super fast. That's not true. Oh, I, I gotta go. I gotta go oh. buy a crown. <laughs> oh, no. Give me time to think about mine. Um, maybe you can help me out with a persona, because I don't think I can think of anything right now. Well, while you figure out your new personas for the wrestling match that's upcoming, I think that's a good place to call today's session. Oh, goody! <laughs> I want to see where to oh. Next time, we will fight the dragon of Nuba Sky, Cecilia the Great. Next time, steel cage match. <laughs> I Tables, might, chairs, I'm gonna be, chairs, I'm gonna more be chairs, tables. Tag team. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be upfront and honest. We're probably not gonna do tag team because there's already yeah. enough waiting around. In Fair enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. thank God. <laughs>